it's just a regular setup chapter. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, that's a lot of people in uh in this in the chat. I'm waiting for it, you know. Go. 14 to start, you feel me? There we go. There we go. We are live. We are live. And for some reason, chat. We have a brook thumbnail. Anyway, welcome to the OPU podcast, episode 13. Um a short chapter, but a good chapter in my eyes. I see a lot of varying opinions about it, but we're going to get into it. But I feel like we'll be remiss if we missed out on the opportunity for our first hot take to be who is a ri- oh no, who is arriving? Or, I mean, who was on their way to Egghead? So, um, that says he streamed earlier, and this was a hot topic, a lot of a long list. So, oh, I want to hear his words. Oh, first. yeah. Oh, long list. I mean, well, I can I can give you the answer right now. I've settled on it's dragon. It's the it's the revs. That's good. Um, it's the it, it the it's the timing of it. Mm. Uh, because like if like what the so like Saturn made the call today to have that evacuation ship taken out. Right, he did it whenever they arrived to the island, and so that means that that ship has been sailing for a full day. Right, uh, like the ship that evacuated yesterday. And so it's pretty far from Egghead at this point. So when people are like, well, how would Dragon get over to Egghead quick enough? Well, they're pretty far from Egghead at this point, right? They've been sailing for a full day, which like isn't super duper far, but it's just like, I mean, Dragon probably has wind powers or something. But I think that's a big key is that ship is pretty far already, right? And they're probably heading towards Egghead. So it's just like, what force would be coming from a far distance to come there? And I'm thinking, you know, I mean, that's also why there's why they're hiding who the they is because like we already know Blackbeard's there, you know, like his crew mm-hmm. is there. So it's like, why would you hide that? You know, we already know. So yeah. Shout out to Flevers in the chat with the um shout out to the OPU fan, OPU holding it down, color of conquerors, and top all around. Yes, sir. You know how we get down, man. Um <laughs> preach. Let's hear it. What you got? Oh yeah, hey, no, no problem. Uh, you know, the only issue is I had to make sure my furnace was working because it wasn't working earlier. And, you know, it's cold. So if anyone was in my stream earlier and wanted an update on that, I did fix the furnace and I did do it myself, like without anyone telling me, uh, which I'm proud of because I have no idea how to work those things. Uh, I did have to open it, but um, so that was fun. So also, uh, Alejandro Solis donated uh, right after I told him not to because I mentioned the furnace thing, and then I ended the stream earlier. So if, in case you're here, Alejandro, shout out to you. I, I, I doubt you are, but I just wanted to say it because I felt bad because I ended the stream. But everything's good with the furnace. So I'm happy to be here. I'm super excited. I thought it was a really good chapter. It's a setup chapter, so taking mm-hmm. that into account, I thought it was a really good chapter. So Preach chat so they can't hear you. That's what they, yeah. <laughs> so y'all can hear y'all can hear me. Well, can y'all, can y'all hear me and and and, and Dak who's well, talked so far? It's well, seeing how Brandon King mentioned the yeah, furnace, I think he yeah, can hear yeah. me. So hopefully the context clues, uh, you know, filled him in that I was <laughs> that I was bouncing off a preach there. <laughs> hope so. Hope so. He's not muted. Okay, you're gonna have to go to Stream Labs, right? And there is a there is like the first one is desktop audio it should be moving but when you go down to your mic is that one moving there you go yeah, go you. to properties and then click on your mic as the input for it it's like let me open the space. gear right i think it's yeah, like, like a little like gear, a, right? like a little spinning <laughs> thing yeah I, I can help you with this too i'm just free balling off the top of my head just then y'all see I, mm-hmm. hey, i'm, I'm pulling man. up right now so i can i can help <laughs> free balling <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. Three, there's a little gear, uh, and then I think yeah, properties, and then device. Yes, sir. There you go. Uh, like yeah. so, so on the mic slash aux thing, it's like, next to the like the little in the mixer button. section. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, next yeah. to the mic slash aux, and then device, and then it'll be a drop down, and you can pick your your input device. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh. 
So can y'all hear me now? In the meantime, yeah, chat. Can y'all hear Preach? Chat. Um, shout out to Smack Cracker for the 10 ball. I actually me... made it to the stream for once, and this is crazy. You watched every one of us for a year now, and almost watched every video from Marsha D. Preach. Hopefully right, so, you can so, hear him now. So, so if you can hear me now, basically what I said was <laughs> it was a last second call. Uh, I hit him up a few hours ago. A guest that couldn't make it today, um, Dad came through. Um, Chet, let me know if you can hear me. If not, then I- I'm pretty sure you can hear me by now. But yeah, I just want to say I appreciate Dad for coming on last minute, man. Um, and I can't wait to talk about the chapter. So let's get into it. Let's get it. We are good. We are good to go. Uh, Mr. Bushido says the carrot cover. Hmm. We will have some words about another Mr. Bushido theory after we get through with this, uh, this discussion. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, anyway... <laughs> Uh, wait, real quick. Did you did you do the double O Flevins super chat? Did I miss yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, that. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanted to say his name because I like how it sounds. I like the way it yeah, rolls off the tongue. Right? So I just wanted an excuse Flevins. to say it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, he told me how to pronounce it, or he or she. I guess I don't know. But the, uh, but uh, a couple streams ago, and I was like, oh, you know, man, I'm so sad. I was getting that wrong the whole time. Like that's 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 a dope name. So yeah, we got ten dollar from I, I, Smack we... Cracker as well. Yes, sir. I just want to say, Dak, if you check our streams, you got to watch for those Flevins uh, donations, man. There's always a little bit of foolishness whenever he decides <laughs> to send us something. You know he tried to get you to read it oh, yeah? too fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a little trickster. I got you. Yes, yeah, sir, got yes, sir. The Dak yeah, crossover the love, Cube. Bro. I saw Cube was streaming with Wizard of Wars, man. Uh, shout out to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last Ark. We see, I see a uh, smack cracker. He said, I've watched every one of your guys for a year now, and I almost have watched every video from Marshall D. Preach. Man, I appreciate it, bro. True fan right there. Appreciate There's the support. Right. He's even watched some videos I edited for you, man. He's seen, he's seen all of them. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of videos, too. It's like, it's a, it's a, yeah. it's a long catalog. So, appreciate the support, man. Goob, shout out to you, too, man. I appreciate you. Cube and TLA, that any crossover they do is the best crossover. They be doing crossovers multiple times a week. Yeah, Cube mm-hmm. be showing love, man. He's been showing love since the beginning, man. Like I remember I got on a call with him uh, like two years ago, and uh, and he always been supporting. So I appreciate it, man. Yeah, he's like Jamal Crawford with the with the crossovers, man. Like <laughs> like multiple times a week. Yeah, I think we're gonna have some words about these All Star starters a little bit later on in the stream as well. Oh, I haven't, I'm I haven't sure. announced. I'm sure it's some, some ridiculousness. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I haven't right. seen that yet. Right before stream. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna look, but I shouldn't because I know I'm gonna say something. Also, I'm we don't get sidetracked so damn quick if I'm, we do. Oh, what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't look at this. <laughs> don't look I, back. I have to now. I, I won't say anything. <laughs> oh, I see it. All right, look, just. All right, this is a good chapter. Let's, you know, there's a lot of let's talk. Let's talk about that mystery. <laughs> I don't, I, we, I don't want to talk about the NBA right now. We will talk also, about it. Brush uh, <laughs> okay. Just wanted to uh, reference back to uh, Mr. Bushido talking about carrot and the cover art. Might as well talk about it because it's the first thing in the chapter. But uh, we see that the cover request is from Oda Mania's big brother. So I feel like that's just another alias for Oda. Just like randomly trying to drop a cover art for Carrot. And we see that it's just uh, Carrot with um, Inarashi and Nekomamashi. So do, do we think that the Carrot uh, Mr. Bushido hype is officially dead in terms of her being on Egghead? Or is it still alive? Dead. No, let me, dead. Let, let me know. Dead. I'm actually it was never upset. alive. <laughs> yeah, it was I mean, never according, alive. according to Mr. Bushido, there was still some hope. But... You never know. I mean, this cover art kind of suppressed it a lot, so you you never know. Is is, is Nekomamushi on on Egghead too? Why why would you focus on care? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's tough to. I'm just <laughs> saying, it's three people on the cover man. story, but it's only Carrot that we're talking about. Oh, Yo, that's interesting. interesting. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, if Carrot is with them, then it, it's kind of tough to say that she's on Egghead right now. Mm. So, I don't see how. You know, I'm actually upset at this because because um, the hints for the chapter was this pot that's being cooked, and everybody was like, "Oh, it's Sanji. He's cooking. This is a big Sanji chapter." And this shit is about carrot, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> 
Once I saw a carrot on that cover, I knew this was going to be a bona fide banger chapter, man. Y'all being real disrespectful right now. Shout out to my guy, Bacito, man. Uh, but did you say it was mid, though? What you mean? Huh? You said the chapter was mid, though. I mean, I, I like, you know, you jump into the chapter, you see things. If we starting off the chapter with carrot, I'm expecting 12 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? And like, <laughs> you know, it was never basically just the height of the, uh, the roller coaster before we just went down the hill. I'm sorry to say. Are we rating the chapters now? Or are we talking about the, the oh, yeah, ending? The yeah. No, I, I'm down to rate the chapter. But before we do, another $5 donor from Smackcracker and Preach. If you can see yeah, it, I'll let you read it if you want. It's directed towards it's you, it. brother. It, it's almost me writing at this point, but <laughs> the effort you put in the theories is insane. I rewatched the long videos multiple times just to remember. Man, I appreciate it, bro. You know what? It's crazy because those videos are, de are long. Like Some of them are, are hours long, so... If you're sticking through the entire video, that's, I mean, that's amazing, man. I definitely wouldn't consider that meat riding. You know, if you watching somebody, like you said, we sit here and we we know the effort that Preach put into his work. And it, it should be appreciated. If you really enjoy a movie, you're not watching it one time. You're seeing it over and over again and seeing something in the movie you didn't see the, uh, the second time, the first time. And we appreciate that effort, man. Make sure you check our streams, too. Again, stop playing. <laughs> I mean, it pretty much goes with the same principle of One Piece as well. I mean, if we watch it multiple times, are we meet writing Oda? No, we just appreciate the story so much. I mean, in some cases Absolutely. we could be, but like, pause. But either way, are we, we getting... just love the content that we consume. <laughs> yeah, see, are we getting Zora Slander today? <laughs> preaches here, snooze. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Do we Man. need help with with, with Lucci? Is is that what is that what's going on? Right. Jinbei need a help. Come on, Jinbei gotta, go, go, Jin nah, gotta go yeah, lend a hand with Lucci. Nah, she specifically two, said she he she sent him to go find him because he might got lost, right? No, 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 he got lost. All right, <laughs> he took the loss. <laughs> he took the loss. <laughs> <He took> the... <laughs> <laughs> Do we need help? Yeah, I'm in a great mood, Daddy man. This is why, cause I, cause listen, everybody, all these Zoro fans, what out that, that he's just Teflon Don. But if Sanji was was out of commission. For right, curl, for curl, curl. Chapters, I want to ask you that. So, how do you feel that Sanji's best chapter of AK had Brooke outshined him? How did Brooke outshine him? I think he had the best moment compared to Sanji. This isn't first. This isn't Sanji's best chapter of AK. Second, Brooke <clears> didn't outshine him. Third, you admitted yourself that you're biased about this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's not do that. Wait, wouldn't right. Sanji's best yeah. chapter be him hurting the Seraphim? I think it was a Seraphim chapter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah next yeah, chapter, yeah. next week when he fight Kizaru, that's gonna be. You know Bro, imagine, I, imagine. That'd be sick. I, I hope can't so. Y'all yeah, better, yeah, so. better kick me off OPU. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> just go ahead and, and Bro, say, look, we, 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 just, we're cutting our costs. All right. We don't I'm telling you, five. that stream is going to be just an hour and a half of Crow talking shit. Like, <laughs> it will not be anything else. Crow is going to rant for a good two hours and talk shit about Zoro and Hype Up Sanji. That's the I whole, whole stream. I ain't been here but number four. None but uh, what else? Uh, he, he's screaming in front of Saturn, all this gibberish, right? So, next chapter, when he clashed with Kizu, we'll, we'll see about all that. It's all good. It's all, I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. Somebody got to step on and be the captain with Luffy down. You know? Some, some <laughs> people want to be zookeepers and play with the leopards while other people actually captain the crew. You feel me? But anyway, best chapter with Sanji, no different series. Yeah, they not, a... <laughs> <laughs> not coming, underwater. Okay. Coming back from uh, uh, getting to slander, let's talk about the chapter and ratings. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and finish the um, the idea of who was at the end for the hot take. We, we just oh, around. Wait, yeah. do you want to do that first? or Yeah, we're doing this. Dak already said say his answer. Ooh, okay. All right, then let's get to it. All right, all right. Uh, preach. Now that they can hear you, um, yeah, yeah. Who do you think is on the way to AK? Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna go with Blabbeard. Um, I think Revs is possible just because I they implied that Dragon is trying to figure out where Kuma is. So it's like if he finds out, he might show up. But I think it's like with with Blabbeard, it's like we already have the crews. I mean, we already had the ships, so we already seen that they're somehow involved. So I think that's like a more logical answer, more likely. So I'm going with Blabbeard. At least his crew, maybe not him himself, but definitely Blabbeard Pirates. <clears throat> it's Mr. Bushido's birthday, by the way. Shout out to Mr. Bushido. Hey, man. happy birthday, Actually, Mr. Bushido. Appreciate Bushido. you for coming through on your birthday, big dog. So in the chapter, did, did they say, um, we got to warn them about they are here, right? 
did they like they didn't say he's here or like a specific no, they person said they are on the way mm, okay. yeah they're headed to AK. Uh, yeah so, so right. i think it's black because we saw them like right outside of the the island right so I'm yeah but that was before the marine my, the reason why i don't say black i just go to answer myself the reason why i don't say black beer is because they were pulling up to the island before the marines touched down you know what i'm saying unless mm. that ship requested backup from like some more titanic captains and they're on the way, then I can see that. But I do think it's Dragon and the Revolutionaries. Um, I think Dragon is probably ahead of the others due to some type of wind power, flight or whatever. And they're going to arrive afterwards. But um, Wait, I'm seeing it, a lot of... Um, is it Bushido's birthday right now? Yeah. So Yo, I'm going to say this. Bro, if you want to jump in the stream, you're welcome to join if you want to. You know, no, no pressure or anything if you want to. It's an invitation. Come bro. through. Come through. No, come I want you through. to preach, preach that Zoro Lucci theory that, uh, that I'm so interested in. I want to hear that. Yeah, if you want to oh, come through, let me you. know and we'll, we'll get you in here. <laughs> and uh, you could be part of the stream. Yeah, a carrot cover on his birthday is actually like fate. That is <laughs> that is crazy, man. Yeah, that's no, I think I think Bushido made the cover request. <laughs> I think he I think he told Oda, hey, this chat hey, my birthday is coming up. I'm the biggest carrot fan, you know, what like whatever whatever he's gotta say to make it sound dramatic enough for, to get Otis attention. <laughs> and then boom, you know, like I, that there's no way the universe aligned for that otherwise. You know what I mean? There's just no way. Like the coincidence no, I, I I refuse to believe it. Mm, I'm thinking big pockets Bushido, right. man. The big way he be all Bushido. over these streams dropping off donations here and there, you know, he could just send a little request with a little extra yen in it, make older happy, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> maybe why we we um exiting out the possibility that he is older? <laughs> I mean, he if if, very well be. if Carrot and Drake show up to Egghead, he might then be, he might be. He might just yeah. then he is <laughs> older. <laughs> we can give him one out of the two, and that's still enough for Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for I sure, mean, yeah, sure. Drake was there like three years ago on Egghead, so is Drake alive? He's got to yes. be. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, Prince. Who you think on the way to get out of it? Man, it's it's really tough because at first I really thought that it was just gonna be like a Blackbeard simple type thing. You know, we saw his ship after uh, Egghead, and then or like from one of the chapters before, and then we see now that a ship was destroyed, Marine ship, and obviously if someone's gonna destroy a Marine ship, it's got to be one of two parties, either revolutionary or a pirate of some sort. But now that I'm thinking about what Dax said about the whole, like, it's been a day since the ship left Egghead, now I'm really starting to think, like, who is it really? Because, like, if we... I don't know the exact panel. I might have to look back at it, but I am pretty sure that Blackbeard's ship was coming into Egghead as Marine ships were already there, I think. I might, I'm going to have to double check that, but if that's the case, then it I can't be Blackbeard uh, because if it was, then uh, he wouldn't be, he would already be there or Blackbeard's crew would already be there. So also, it could be someone that's a good else. Point. That's a good point. I just want to slide in there. I'll pause. Also that um, <laughs> if you think about the beginning of this arc, starting with a flashback with Dragon and Vegapunk at the aftermath of a buster call, I think it would be very fitting if Dragon pulls up to a buster call right now in a place that has a lot of old Howard knowledge. You, that just seems like something that Oda would do, in my yep. opinion. But uh, yeah, JJ, let's hear it. I mean, the obvious answer is Dragon. Um, you know, with them saying the first thing they did was uh, stop the Marines from neutralizing the escaping vessel. So, you know, taking care of the civilians that's about to be taken out for no reason, that's definitely some rev energy there. Um, and shoot, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me let me just be that guy. But if it's Dragon, I'm going to be kind of sad because I just wanted this to be Kuma's moment. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I no. just wanted this to be, I just wanted this to be <laughs> Kuma's moment. So my man been sacrificing all his life. Why not give the, the for real sacrifice and make sure that his girl go off with Nika? We going to have to talk about that too, Dak. But, um, yeah, I just really wanted Kuma to, you know, to do everything in his power to make sure that my boys could sail off. But it looked like Dragon going to come, you know, finally make a play in 1100 chapters. 
But uh, shoot, it's let me just always, throw somebody. Some agenda there. It's some agenda there. I hear it, but go ahead. Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord. I, I, I promise I ain't got no problems with that guy. I'll just be speaking on what I see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, but shoot, okay. Well, why not be just throwing somebody? Because I've been, I've been. It was a quiet day at work. I was jumping all over the streams today. I don't know if that's a pause or not, but let me just throw no, a name good. out there that I haven't seen. You know, um, we know that. Law can't run on his own, you know what I'm saying? If when when we dealing with these big dogs, if he ain't taking the loss, I mean, if he ain't with Luffy, he's taking the loss. So maybe you know Beppo was able to get him to a secure island. You know, maybe Winter Island and AK really aren't too far away. And we know that that chapter where they was uh, fighting with Black Bear was you know almost forty chapters ago, a few days ago. Maybe they was able to able to make a play to be able to hear about what's going on with big news and go. Uh, be a part of the Grand Fleet like he should have been and go save his people. I'm just throwing that out there. Ain't no, mm -hmm. Just I mean, to say a different name. And just to put some uh, some old hats in the basket, uh, on Twitter, not Twitter, what the fuck I call it? Chat Twitter. Uh, chat, I don't know if y'all follow Joe. He's a friend of a lot of OPU members, if I'm not mistaken. He did a third about um, some of the possible people that could be on the way. And just to name a few, um, Dragon, Blackbeard's crew, Neo Mads, the Grand Fleet, Kid Law and Killer could be adrift. Hancock and Shanks. Um, out of those, the one that would piss me off the most would be Miss Bucking and, and Marco. All right. If Oda wants me to draw one piece, just do that. I, I you know, it's all good. Why so? Why so? Why are we Scott? Listen, listen, bro. At least she fits in with the narrative with Stussy, with Vegapunk. Um, Marco, like she told him, like, we gotta go as Vegapunk. Uh, Vega Punk, if it's yeah. true, but like to me, Bo and Hancock made no sense to me. Yeah, I don't see Bo at all, by the way, but bruh, you're looking at everything that's going on right now in Wano, not Wano, aka all of this drama between Kuma and the Rebs and the Celestial Dragons, and then you end the chapter off, which is a clear setup chapter, you end it by saying they're on the way, they're headed to Egghead, and it's Fucking Miss Bucking. I swear to God, I will be so mad, bro. But move. I Stop thinking about Miss Bucking and think more about Marco. You know what I'm saying? Then I get to see yeah. Zane uh, pull up the, the pulse of him and his. We didn't had stand. enough of Marco. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. had more than enough of Marco. We just did. Like, like, it, it does feel like, like, back. Yeah, like we got Marco last time coming in and helping the crew and stuff. I mean, I like Marco, so I wouldn't be too mad at it. I. I kind of wish that we saw more of him in, in Wano, but I don't know, man. Me too. Man, he got dropped off by Shanks. That was him dropping out of the story. He's done, bro. Speaking of dropping st stuff, Vex just dropped 10 memberships in chat. Shout out to Vex, the legend. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my goodness. Vex. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so, Diva says it's absolutely the Foxy Pirates. That's actually not a bad choice. I would, I'd rather be Foxy than Miss Bucking. Get out of here, bro. It could literally no, come be on, anybody bro. at this point. Nah. Except Fox. <laughs> listen, I know Dak wants Foxy, <laughs> but I, I just, listen, bro. I can't, like, what is Foxy doing in this arc? What is bro, bro I'm doing? telling you, Foxy you could have up. some. You cut out, you cut out. Or you cut out. It's possible because <laughs> okay. we saw that, uh, what's his name? Waple came in and became one of the most important people in the story now. Which is nuts. Like he's he's yeah. one of the few people that know of Emu's existence. So and we, we all thought that he was a clown shit. completely. I just so who knows? Foxy could do something even crazy. I feel like never... Foxy would how you said, like a Gore say in this situation, the Admiral, I feel like he makes it too goofy, bro. It's it's a big event. And I mean, I can't take Miss Buckingham too serious. But her coming in with no, Marco I was, and, and I, was, I was pushing about the about the Foxy shit. I'm, drop I'm saying like Foxy, there. a lot of characters yeah. where it's like I feel like it has to be something kind of serious, especially with. I the, would well, drop this story. I don't think it can JJK be. Channel. I don't think it could be them because when they're saying like they're coming, I feel like it has to be a certain group. They got to be worthy of um, the Marines being like, "Hey, man, there's somebody on the way. We have to let an admiral know about mm, this." Nah, bro. I don't know about that. You think Marco is worthy? Oh, Foxy, of that? bro. No, no, I'm not. No, it's not them either. I, it's Dragon, or it, I could understand another Blackbeard ship on the way. Them yeah, I, I can understand those. Yeah. 
No, I don't think Foxy's coming to the, to Egghead, but I'm just saying in general, a Foxy comeback would be nuts. All right, I think I should have been entertained a Foxy coming. <laughs> I just didn't know if y'all was for real, bro. No, 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 man. Hey, this uh, is what it Smoker it has to be Dragon G5, Drake. or Blabby. I think it's Smoker, Mr. Bushido. I don't think it's Smoker. I think Smoker is going to show up to um, what you call that island? Why are we naming island. the most righteous Marines when we're looking at a sunken Marine ship? I'm not seeing yeah. Smoker be like, yo, even Cost if Smoker's you, like, man. yo, I'm not rocking with the Gora State, he's still not sinking Marine ships. Yeah. That's not even an option to me. Hey, I feel about Cross Gear. Mm, nah, they're, they're too like, busy with, I mean, they were fighting the Marines already, right? Are they? I think uh, they sent Seraphim after them. I'm assuming um, an admiral or something else too. That's another. That's I'm a good just, point. It implies that Kingsley would know who they're talking about. So, uh, people saying Grand Fleet, I just don't see it being the Grand Fleet, bro. I'm, 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 I'm the the Grand Fleet got to be summoned at this point because. <laughs> no, <laughs> the thing is, Luffy, oh, Luffy, I'm, I'm, that wasn't even the punchline though. Like Luffy was literally dead. I know what you said. Yeah, exactly. I know where you was headed, bro. Luffy was gone in in um Wano. in Wano. Like if yeah. he wasn't, if they wasn't coming to see him when he was knocked out in the prison with his eyes open, still staring at Kaido, <laughs> then they would have at least had the vivid card of him. Oh, Straw has voices going. Like there's way, been way too many instances that be like, yo, we need to go pull up wherever Straw Hat is, and they wasn't able to make it. But at the same time, you know, it was kind of hard for everybody to get up to Wano. So maybe they was in the vicinity, but they wasn't able to actually pull up. So they was near and then, but they still wouldn't really know what's going on in AK to go over there. So I'm really not seeing it as being a reason. See, yeah. that, that's what <clears throat> exactly what I was about to say, because I feel like it's literally an A situation 2.0. They see the burning Viver card and Luffy's thing legit dying out. And then all of a sudden it just goes back up in like, a, like this huge vibrant form after becoming gear five. And people are like, what the hell's going on? So people like Bartolomeo, there's no way he's not dropping everything he's doing and going straight to wherever the Viva card is. There's no way. So Just I feel like so. it's going to be really, really soon. I don't think it's this ship specifically, but either as soon as they reach Elbaf, as soon as they get out of Egghead, I don't know. But it's got to be Bro, very it's soon. Been, it's been like two weeks since he since he turned Gear 5. Like, they still ain't... Y'all like hit him up like yo, what happened with your with your video card a couple of weeks ago? Like, did you were you gone? What happened? Yeah. No contact at all. I think we're not gonna see them until Elbath. Um we know they got that I thing going on with Shanks, so it's like war, I could see a thing where like <laughs> Shanks captured one of them or, or something like that, but I don't know, bro. I feel like does anyone have something different from Dragon? Or the revolutionaries and Blackbeard. Zane, hey, Zane, I ain't hear from you. I can subscribe. I like me. Yeah, I like can subscribe. Uh, well, I'm looking at uh. Chad, oh my y'all God. got something different from uh the Dragon Rams. and and uh. The chat said Foxy, so I don't think I'm I was gonna say the Grand Fleet, but I mean, you know, you already talked about it, so. <laughs> oh my bad. No point. Nah, you're good. I'm not tripping. But yeah, that's that was my guess. And if I had to say <laughs> Occam's Razor, it'd be probably either Blackbeard or Dragon. Bro, check the chat. Yeah, that's why I was just about. There's some there's some characters in the chat, man. The v- uh, right, I'm, I'm just bro. The Viva car went from a shrimp to a few inches. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm not, hey, you, I, you I was just that thinking that, about man. it. Yo, what if um, the Viva card actually, because Gear 5 is like very like manga cartoonish uh, like base and stuff, what if the Viva card actually shows Luffy's actions whenever he's in Gear 5? I would, like, I'm just thinking about now, like we was at 1044, 1043, when Kaido put the boom on Luffy, like when if we would have like went to everybody that had a Viva card and be like, what's going on? Like, yo, that would have just been crazy. Like building the suspense. I, I, yeah, it would have been a quick mean. like, what the hell? Like, think, and then it just shows everyone's point of view, like of the burning paper, kind of like aces. I think it'll be cool. interesting yeah. though if we do see Kuzan because you know a lot of people they want to talk about Kizaru switching sides, 
And uh, I think having Kuzan and Kizaru fight would be interesting if you see, like, Kizaru on one side, he has conflicted feelings, but he's not switching. Kuzan, he had those feelings, but he did switch. So I would like to see that. But um, it would be a cool cool narrative and story to have between them. I also think Kuzan could be, like, it makes sense with me. Kuzan knows information, insider information. We talked about it before. Um, so he could actually give them a, a reason to go there and, and kind of a, a heads up before this entire event is going on. Um, I think it makes sense. And I think the revolutionaries, is, you got the Tazukuma, that won't make sense too. I just don't know if there's another one that I see that really fits with the story. But Oda does like to shock people and, and bring in crazy reveals. So I could see something. It would have to be something that's so shocking, but like something big too. Mm-hmm. Your rose. Get, get out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not mad at it, bro. I, I would love to see your rose. Random shit. Like, y'all talk, look, don't go saying it got to make sense for the story. They said a rose is going to be the Come on now. Nah, nah <laughs> rose is that guy, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's crazy how quick they switch up. That that don't gotta make sense. All right. I yeah. Guess. Speaking of not liking stuff, I see that we have very few likes on the stream. We got sixty people watching, which we do very much appreciate. Shout out to all sixty of you guys up in the stream, but only thirty six likes. Get those likes up. Y'all like the stream. Come on. It's because of the Brook thumbnail. That's why. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that's cap. Should have did Sanji. That's cap. Anyway, uh, Scamadad says that it was VV's Peacock Slasher that took out the warship. I can definitely yeah, see that. <laughs> She's been uh, trying. Actually, it, that would be so cool if it is Morgan's. And Scamadad has just put it Morgan's, but that, that would actually be a decent one. Uh, big news what about the Black it? Marine flag. I think that's just a normal Marine flag, right? Who had it? Also, I checked the panel with uh, the Blackbeard ship. There's no marine ships, so it still could be Blackbeard. Because uh, when Blackbeard was coming, or the ship with the logs was coming into Egghead, it was just the ship itself alone, right. and then the coast of Egghead. Just like, yes. yeah, I want like... everybody to vote Brook to Troll Crow. Yeah, just, just vote Brook. Just never uh, be honest and objective. It's always do something <laughs> to Troll Crow. That's, that's the problem right now. I mean, because That's the fun. thing is, like, it, it's, it's, a, one piece it's a double win. It's, it's a double why. win because we're telling the truth and when we I get leave to control you at one the same piece time. University, I want y'all to know why. All right. I feel like Nick Saban right now. I'm the coach. I'm, I'm the man, you know, and everybody, everything is going against me. So when I retire, y'all will see why. Vote Sanji, bro. Please. It's a brick conspiracy. But someone Please. who will never retire from gifting is Vex. Holy shit. Oh, Vex with another 10 man. gifted. Jesus. Shout out to Vex, you, man. Everybody Shout spam to Vex, W man. Vex in the chat. Spam like just anything you want. Just praise Vex because the man is a go for real. So I, I, I don't even we might have to make this man his own emoji at this point. <laughs> like this is nuts. Chat, look, I get antagonized every time we come on here, bro. I, just one time, bro. Give me a win in this poll. <laughs> Like, bro, this whole chapter was a win for you. You could have Sanji versus Kizaru next chapter. Look, man. That would be you gotta crazy, consider where I'm right? starting from, though. I mean, still. I mean, been, th- like I said, I've been getting battered all year. I mean, number four. Is- oh, God. Look at number four. He's not even the most <laughs> trio no more. Oh, God. Look at me. Like, <laughs> all, this, all this bullshit. Since when was that? When that chapter came out? Like two I years ago. Bro, I was Yamato joined because he wouldn't even be number four. <laughs> You'd be number five. Zoro would be number three. So, I mean, it's just tough. You know what I'm saying? Hey, top three versus top five. It's, just a, it's a tough road. Yeah, I see what I mean. The entire panel is always against me every week. And I can't get the chat on my side. What happened? You know what you do. I ain't even got to keep on you. <laughs> Wait, it's so look. funny to me. These guys go out of their way to slander Sanji just in case I planned on bringing up Sanji later on. That's what killed me. I woke up in the morning. I go to general. I see Rage you is the strongest Vin Smoke. I'm like, like it's seven o'clock in the morning. Like, what's going on? Why we hating on Sanji, bro? Bro, I I put it in the Discord. I was I was saying <laughs> I was trying to help, man. I was yeah. trying to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, baby Pluto. Yeah, I do have more feats than Sanji. That is very true. All right. Well, thank no, you. I'm kidding. About you. I'm kidding. Like, this is a very <laughs> pro Zoro uh, OPU crew. You know. But in the Discord, I'd be by myself. You know what I'm saying? 
like you, Mega, it's like three or four of y'all Sanji people. So I don't remember what it was, but I just felt the energy wasn't right, and I just had to straighten some things out. I apologize, hey, you know. Sanji I keep trying right. to remind y'all. I don't know where y'all got this information that I was suddenly Zoro affiliate or Sanji yeah, affiliate. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, them both. If, if you were to watch these streams, not knowing what your favorite side was, man, vast majority of people would say you're a Zoro guy. Or based on the stances that you take, or Listen, based I, I'm on just, look, I'm the just people going watching the streams entirely, they know that it's not really a Zoro Sanji thing. It's nah, just nah, nah, me nah. just trying to see how much I can push the buttons. That, that's pretty much it. Why you never push the Zoro buttons? I'm doing it right now. I was doing it earlier in the stream. I was doing it earlier in the stream. You know, it's always the Sanji buttons got to be pushed. It's all Bro, good, though. We were... It's all good, though. Some niggas hold ain't on, doing a chapter in, in four months because they fighting Lucci on the other side <laughs> of the island. You feel me? And then when Jinbei Bro. finna come out to double team him because they can't beat him by their fucking self. Bro, all this Zoro... No, no. Nah, nah, all this Zoro equal Luffy shit. What I said? The Zoro close to Luffy shit. <laughs> I have Where never that? said Luffy that. was sleeping. Don't, nah, we Lucci. didn't say that. Don't nah, even. Nah, say, it's close. If Luffy a 10, Zoro a 9 or an 8, nah, no, the fuck even, is not. Don't even. If Luffy's I, a 10, no. Zoro like a 6. Bro, this man you, was sleeping. No, I Okay, you can say that about <laughs> like, the, the, the others, but you can't say it because you know that I have put Luffy astronomically higher than game. every other straw hat. I'm just talking. Bro, bro. I'm just talking. Oda does I, it. So we Oda gotta we what? gotta go with it because Oda bro, did what? Look at sleep you know, right him. You what know that Oda likes to make Sanji was... the joke. He likes to make him a meme, bro. <laughs> so we gotta roll with it, bro. Cause that he Oda made that decision a long time ago. Listen, I ain't mad at it. I'm just saying I need the the goal posts to stay the same on both sides. Zoro say one thing to Luffy as advice. Every 20 years in this story, and he got to be the vice captain. But canonically, Sanji has taken charge more often than Zoro. Sanji has also fought the big bads of the arc just as much as Zoro has. That's not but true. He can't, well, he can't be. Yes, it is. He can't fight Kaido. I say he has fought the big bags of the arc, not Kaido. But that's the biggest bad, right? Like, Okay, that's what? Like, who did, he didn't even fight Big Mom, bro. He put a knee up. He did fight Lucha in his lobby. He did clash with Big Mom. He did clash with Doflamingo. He did fight Virgo. Like, what are we talking about? That's See, when Zoro do this shit, bro. this shit is held to the highest standard. Zoro was the big bad. He was the strongest person. The, who, Caesar? You know, see, like, like, Virgo, like, sure? <laughs> it's just like hearing <laughs> here, here <laughs> Virgo next to Big Mom and Kaido is kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. saying. I'm just saying. Like, the main be pulling is just at the time they were the main character. Whatever, whether or not the main character at the time. Sanji has uh, done the same things Zoro does. No, plus, not the same more. Thing. Not the same. Yes, he has. Bro. All right. Uh, I don't know. Quick, quick question from Dean, though. He said, real talk, how is Brook moving to Sunny? So pretty much he just used his like ice abilities and is pretty much sliding the Sunny on the ice. I'm going to keep and real then, talk. I ain't read that part, bro. I ain't read that part. Hey, of course you me? didn't. That's why you slandered Brook in the first place. <laughs> I ain't, bro, I ain't slandered reason. Brook, though. I ain't slandered her. I'm just saying. Bro, Zoro right. took out Hody underwater. He fought he he took on him the out? rooftop. He took him out? I mean, he beat him. Yeah, he took him out. Man, I see that's that shit I'm talking about right there. If he took out Hody, Sanji beat Virgo. That's that shit I'm talking about. It's a it's so much rope. Sanji didn't beat so Virgo. Much leeway. That's the exactly. Neither one of them beat them. Okay, like you talking about uh, Luffy and Luchi versus Zoro and Luchi. Luffy fought Luchi at his prime. What Zoro his still prime? ain't got his bandana on. You, know, you still know he's using like thirty percent of his energy. You better, man. you better pray when we sweep, go next chapter and Zoro and Jimmy pull up. Zoro don't got that bandana on his head. All right. If you better Zoro bring got that alive. bandana on. Then, if Zoro got that bandana on, then Luchi gonna be Zoro... on the ground in parts of four. You need to pray that he's alive, okay? When did Brook the ice power? Like, Brook been using the chill of the underworld. I'm, I'm be honest, bro. I'm, I'm kind of worried. Why? What you worried about? I'm a little. Why? Bro. Let's hear, no, no. I want to hear you say it. What you worried about? There's a small. There's a small <laughs> chance. <laughs> There's a small chance no. it's a, Don't you do it. There's say, a small no, chance that, that say, we're going to go back to Zoro and Luchi wait, 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 and Jimbe has to carry Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, I'm not saying he lost the fight, but I'm saying like, bro, if... Bro, I'm a little bit nervous, bro. That's all I'm yes. saying. Yes, yes, yes. There's a chance that, that Jimbe has to pick him up and 
and run out that bro if we see it it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a really toxic day on twitter but that's all i'm saying oh you know it listen man Jim Bay ain't going for no reason. If somebody weak, if they would have sent Usopp to go find him, then I would have been like, yeah, Zoro smooth. They had to send, what y'all call him, Mr. Three, the third show. Remember, right? bro, it <laughs> has been a, um, how many chapters? And we haven't seen anything. Like, like, we just don't know what happened. So there's a small chance. I'm not saying it happened, but I'm, I'm saying there's definitely a chance. I have my faith <laughs> in Zoro. <laughs> but, bro, Oda is, <laughs> he. I can't say it with full confidence, bro. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Bushido might be right. Maybe Luchi wins. Bro, if if I swear, if, if Luchi birthday, if, nice. if Luchi wins, I'll lose my mind, bro. <laughs> if Luchi wins, don't... it's kind of just a oh, random no. out of nowhere. Like, how did Luchi win? Like, out of all the things that would happen right now in Egghead, like to go us like awry in terms of like, oh, Kizaru might not uh, flip to the Straw Hat side. Uh, Saturn's already trying to nuke the whole place, and then we got Luchi beating Zoro. Like, <laughs> what W's have the straw hats? Off screen too. Like, if he gets off screen Ooh, by Luchi, if Zoro gets nice, off screen by Luchi, he gets off screen. It's gotta be a stalemate. It's gotta yeah, it just be, be like, be, like they're just keeping each other busy. Like that's all Oda's doing is making sure it's it's like uh it's like Rayleigh and Kizaru and Saba Odi. You know, like they're just yeah. keeping each other busy. So, could Luffy beat Zoro while sleeping? Because oh, oh, <laughs> Luffy embarrassed Zoro the same way he embarrassed Luchi at the beginning of his arc. No. <laughs> I mean, at this point, we got to have the conversation because it is taking a long time for Zoro to beat Luchi. I'm just saying, if, if, if and then you got to think about it, if we want to get real nasty, right? No. So Luchi got a hockey boom when he was fighting Luffy. <laughs> so he's stronger now. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, bro. <laughs> no, nah, but real shit, though. Um, I think that... I think that this is a lot harder than people expected for Zoro. I don't think Zoro's going to lose, but my, I do believe that Jinbei is going to have to, like, carry him back or something. I don't see a scenario where Luchi is just strong enough to put down Zoro. That just don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? I hope not. But this is Egghead Island, you know, and everything is unpredictable. Maybe it's time to get some clarification on this power gap. Luffy Whoa. is embarrassing any of your favorite characters. Crow want to get nasty? Yeah, I want to get nasty because because I've been getting trolled for too long. They call me troll. I don't even troll. Crow, I don't even troll, troll no more. <laughs> just I don't even in a troll different light, man. I, could, I, I ain't got said so much bad. I ain't said nothing bad about the people that they called me a hater. Or when the last time I said something bad about white beard? You just ain't got no green beard stuff to talk about, man. That's when the troll really come out, man. I'm just saying he's, he's a strong guy. You feel me? Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, just him. Oh man. One thing this I don't like is that chapter. Sanji is is about to fight Kizaru. Zoro's fighting Luffy. Uh, Zoro's fighting Luchi. Right Luffy is about to fight the Gorose. What is Jinbei doing, bro? He's running He's... around looking for Zoro. I'm like, bro, like, I'm so happy that Jinbei joined the crew. I want to see something, bro. I want to see, like, a, a big moment in this arc. And, like, I, I don't think we're going to get it, so. Jinbei, listen. I that's mean, so Frankie has done it. That's y'all yeah, no, mans. Frankie has done more than, like, 90% in the straw hats, right? That's now. y'all man's. Mr. Number Three, yeah, Frankie. Oh, go ahead, JJ. Oh, go ahead. I I take Frankie at number three, but um, I talk about him. I mean, hear what I want to hear sometimes. But I mean, you see how they started off the chapter. We got a uh, doll talking to Kizaru and Saturn with the one. Um, is that the one with the the fort? Now the dude with the crazy chin. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if Jinbei just wiped out all the other vice admirals by himself off the screen. Put some respect on that man's name. Stop playing. Yeah, man, he got the, he, that got that straw now. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, these vice Actually, admirals was problems in the pre-time skip. There is not problems for the uh, for Emperor's crew no more. Jinbei was problems in the pre-time skip. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no problem no hey, more. To be fair, y'all. To be fair, uh, one interesting thing that I did like about the chapter is the fact that Dahl is questioning Saturn's orders 
But as soon as Kizaru says something, they're like, all right, bet. I mean, I mean like that was the most direct a demon in front of you. Yeah, if you see a demon in front of you and like you don't know what's going on and you hear a bunch of talk about insects and crushing people, then you're like, Hold on. This don't make sense. <laughs> like, why are you doing this? What's going on? So, I think like, she was worried about Kizuru though, because like you stay in here doing a buster call, but Kizuru can fly though, so Yeah. And Kizuru is light. What's the buster call gonna do? It's not made of like sea prism. Yo, bro, I just thought I had a crazy thought. Jimbe is an ancient weapon. No, he's gonna die. <laughs> bro, bro, Jin- why bro. do you assume the worst for Jinbe? I swear. <laughs> why is it always the worst? Why is it 50 votes and Sanji is losing? <laughs> uh, there <laughs> there like, we go. Poll? I need the there we go. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, perfect. And preach, end the poll. That's everybody. That's everybody. End the poll. <laughs> I just say that. I'm tired of this hip- hypocrisy. That's all I'm gonna say. Like I think it can give advice one time every ten years in store, and he the vice captain. But Sanji can step up multiple occasions, lead the crew, fight the fight the big bad multiple occasions. He just a cook. Come on, bro. I'm tired of y'all, man. Man, we was running around on a uh uh, uh dang. Uh, Emperor's Island, and your boy was in the in the in the spider web getting slapped up by by tarantulas. Like, bro, that's this is the lane that you want that? right now. What happened after that? Huh? But that but did Zara, did Zara lose to the Yeti Cool Brothers? Bro, don't don't. Mister, okay. I'm never gonna lose another fight. All right, the I'll... Yeti. Bro. Okay, forget the, the two of them. Forget the Zora Sanji thing them. for a second. What the fuck? It was four of okay. them. Yo, I just saw a very interesting comment from John uh, Bernard. Ho- hopefully, I pronounced that right. John Bernard. But he said, but Usopp in Alabasta in his fight said that he was a sinker of countless ships. Therefore, Usopp might defeat the Buster Call. Since we all know Let's that go. Usopp's lies hey, might hey, eventually hey, come hey, true. Hello. What, 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 was, what was Usopp doing his art? Nothing, but he could do something. That's what we're saying. He was doing something. He was, he was doing something. I'm glad you read that, Prince. That was quality. I mean, he was no, it, crying. It, 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 he was crying. <laughs> Bro, that's what been, Usopp's doing right now. We've been saying that, like, Usopp, we might have to wait for Elbaf. Who knows? We might have, we, mu- we might start in, like, Egghead right now for him to become a warrior, and then Elbaf is just his true call. It's funny, like, he may Bro. be the full reason he for Elbaf. Usually, you got Chopper, Nami, and Usopp, right? Like, what is it? The Coward Trio. Yeah. This time, it's just Usopp. Yeah, everybody else composed. Oh. He I mean that's because they just doing you know, their bro, job. I, I've been gaining so much respect for Nami, man. Oh yeah. Uh, she, oh, I, yeah, look I, at him, look I, at him. I I plan on making I a video Nami. about it, but man, Nami is still in my eyes extremely underrated in terms of how important she is in the crew. I think extremely. so, bro. I, bro. Top six. She top six. Jeez, who's in front of Nami? Like, the shipwright, the archaeologist, the captain, the vice captain. Like, what you mean? The fisherman. I'm, I'm not gonna like, lie. In, in terms of importance, other than fighting, Zoro's like last. <laughs> like, he, he, I'll be honest, he's last. All he does is sleep Zoro, and drink. That's it. Zoro could play the violin. He just let your boy have his lane. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. I used right. to disrespect Nami so hard. I, I've been. Do you have her like at like the bottom two on your on the I think, I think I might put her last. Either her no, or I had a last. Chopper. Oh, it was had JJ last. had a last. I think I y'all remember. swapped out Nami and, 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 and um Chopper like for bottom. Two. It was either Chopper, Nami, or Usopp. But I've been bro. Yeah, been, times she's been going Chopper for me was like top three. Even Ennius Lobby, Chopper was one of my favorites, especially his backstory. Vice captain. Y'all but then this like, did you read the chapter? You got that idea. Nami is, is, and seriously, if we being for real, Nami is like fourth in command, I'd say. Yeah, she OG right. for real. Yeah. Now that we yeah. have enough people in chat as well, we got 80 people on the stream. Shout out to all wow. of you. Whoa. Hit Major 80 already. Out. But uh, why don't we go through? We I think we've covered pretty much like well, who we think is coming at uh, Egghead or in terms of the ship. I think we can get through ratings now, right? Wait, hold on. I want to. I want to ask Dag. Do you have anything um, interesting? Because well, I know he was gone. Yeah, so unfortunately. I... Yeah. Sorry. If I, sorry, I cut you off there. I, I was gonna play off okay. of it, but go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I missed that part. I had to bounce real quick for a little bit, but now obviously I'm back. Uh, 
Well, yeah, so I think it's Dragon, but I missed all of your guys' opinions. But I'm going to venture a guess that the, li that the list you guys came up with, because you guys aren't still talking about it, uh, wasn't as long as the one my chat w was coming up with during my stream. So, like, can you guys idea. just give me, like, a quick summary hmm. of the ones you talked about? I have an idea. So, okay, Do so you basically... You can guess who each one of us guessed? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's okay. actually. Good idea. <laughs> Did you guys each guess a different person? I need to know that first. Nah. Um, I think. Okay. Okay. Zane How many different, different people total did you guys pick? I know that. There's a pool of three. There's a pool three. Of three. <laughs> okay. Dragon, Blackbeard, uh, and either Cross Guild or or Grand Fleet. Uh, I don't know which one. Yeah. But... That was it. That's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So those were like the main ones that people were talking about, but some fun ones were like the Big Mom Pirates. And I know that Ooh. sounds super random, but like, remember, they the last we heard, they were attacking like a government ship off the coast of Wano. Remember, and like, do do they have Big Mom? Like, they 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 probably are going after Pudding, which like some of the Blackbeard pirates are at Egghead, which like they they that group shouldn't have Pudding with them. But regardless, like maybe you know Augur warp them there, like from a far distance, so like like onto the island. You know what I mean, like like over the ships and everything so like maybe pudding is there and we just don't know or whatever you know so big mom pirates are a fun one this this one was like kind of random but like the man marked by flames it's like super oh, yeah. random but like he's out there somewhere and like sinking a ship that's like probably you know that sounds like on on par for or whatever for him so uh then bushido was pushing smoker which like smoker wouldn't defeat a marine ship but smoker pulling up to egghead makes a lot of sense in general uh, like he has a pretty close connection with Vegapunk and stuff already. Uh, like remember Punk Hazard and everything, and like the kids. Yeah, uh, they're always getting treated. With... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like Smoker pulling up would make a lot of sense, and it's like, like the only idea for Smoker is like the reason why he would take out a government ship is like maybe he's found out something where he's just done with it at this point, you know, whatever. And then another thing I brought up, which like this is this is I actually didn't bring this up in my stream, but I was talking to my friend about it afterward, and this is tied to Blackbeard. But Aokiji, and it could be Aokiji's group without Blackbeard himself. Like, it could be another faction of Blackbeard's crew. And the reason why Aokiji makes sense is, remember at Ohara, Akainu blew up the other one, right? Mm, like, blew up yeah. the evacuation ship. And so imagine if Aokiji protected this other one, because, like, now that he's a pirate, he's allowed to do that. That would be, like, the, the idea there. Like, now that he left the Marines, he can protect innocent people. Which, like, shouldn't... That's, like, the opposite of how it should be. But I Karmic thought that was knowledge. like, okay, yeah. Like, now he's going to get to do the good thing, being on the opposite side, which, like, it's, it's you know, predicated on being the evil side, like the pirates, especially Blackbeard. So that would be, like, a really cool thing. Like, damn, Kuzan joins Blackbeard and immediately is doing good stuff for people, that kind of thing. Yo. So, like... Yeah, um, I mentioned earlier with, with that, like, I would like to see um, a, a storyline where you see how you kind of, what you're bringing up, Kizaru is... is um conflicted right but he's sticking with the mm -hmm. marines and, and he's you know he's staying to what what he said you know he's a, a cognitive machine uh but like kuzan is someone who betrayed the marines and went his own path he had the same conflicted feelings but you know, he <clears> went <throat> a different route so it'd be an interesting story to see them fight um i think that would be really cool to be honest has anybody yeah. heard anybody move to stop a gabon yet Ooh. Well, yeah, would, yeah. when, when someone saying? mentioned the man marked by flames, that was what they were thinking. Is it Scopper? Mm. Hey, man, Sanja number three doing some big things right now. The big number three from Rogers crew pulling up. That would be dope, man. It's I mean, always don't happening. Exactly you know where Roadstar is, but I could imagine, you know, Scopper having, you know, real connection with big news and being able to get information. And, you know, once we've seen Luffy with that, uh, with that gear of five on that bounty, he'd be like, yo, it's about time for, you know, Roger's prophecy to be fulfilled. And now I got to make sure I play my part, just like Crocus played his, just like Rayleigh played his. It's my turn now. So, like, little baby. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it would be very poetic that Roger left someone at the very start of the Grand Line and leave someone at the very end of the Grand Line just to make sure that things are in check and everybody's, like, where they're supposed to be. And if there's someone who actually can <clears throat> make the journey to the Laugh Tale then they have enough support to do so. So that does and make truly, sense. And, yeah, and, and, and they could truly be gatekeepers. And they could truly be gatekeepers. Like, we just want to make sure the people that's supposed to be, you know, the people of right intent are the ones that's being able to get closer to this. And once, the, I mean, like, Crocus saw it in Luffy, like, from the beginning. And 
we've heard a lot of stories with Shanks telling Rayleigh, like, you know, Shanks could be spreading the word and making sure that everybody knows who needs to be, um, who needs their assistance. I'm not finna respond to that comment. Um, <clears throat> you know, Sway so Shock says it's Luffy's mom on the way to Egghead. That would be crazy. If this is how we introduce <laughs> Luffy's mom to the story. I'll be, yeah, see, I said it has to be something shocking and surprising if it's not one of those. That would be wild, man. I think the they, I mean, it has to be a, a big faction, I would say. I, I agree, yeah. So, um, that's why, I mean, if it's Gabon, then does he have, like, other remnants of the white beard? Not the white beard. Rogers. The Roger Powers with him? Or, or yeah, that'd be cool, know? like, because cause Ray Lee, like, he was kind of like a lone wolf after that whole situation. It would be cool if Gabon kind of stuck with everybody else. And probably they probably went to low low style. That would be dope. Um, I'm looking at ah, bro, Rogers and like and think about like the the big egghead incident. When if we really get like yo the Roger Pirates has finally emerged from wherever they came from to help out this one kid who's been attacking the government on a different levels for years now like. That could be and a part keeps, of it. Like, I like yelling that. that he's going to be king of the pirates. <laughs> I like that as a dark. What I look you really wanted like with um with the Roger pirates, I, I thought it would be more interesting to see Luffy like if he because he already has really in my mind. So like if Gabon sides with Buggy and then like the other ones go with like Shanks or something, but um. <clears throat> well, I think that um, I think Roger left his people strategically in different parts of the world to mm. help the next Joy Boy. I think. Croak yeah. is at the interest to the Grand Line. Rayleigh at the interest to the New World. Um, I would have preferred maybe it would have made more sense if if the third guy was at the interest to the New World and Rayleigh was at Lone Star. But I guess it don't really matter. <laughs> That's just being. I um, guess Rayleigh was maybe. just because he he needed Rayleigh to train Luffy, so it's like yeah. And I was gonna say like if Ray Rayleigh. I feel like his placement was more specifically for Luffy it's himself rather than it being like connections towards guiding pirates as a whole. Mm -hmm. It was more specifically for that Luffy training arc. Hey, I'm, I'm, being there. I'm be thinking nice. about Big Mom now. And it's like, I low-key oh. wish Oda would do it just to troll the yeah. entire community, bro. Listen, I, like, I won't be know. upset if she comes to Elbow, but let's give us one arc away nah. from Big Mom. Nah, yeah, that, that's, that's <laughs> a very valid criticism. Of <laughs> that. I know, bro, it, it would be so that, funny, that is bro. an obscenely valid criticism right there. We don't. We can wait. We can wait. I, we I can just, get one arc. Because, I'm just oh, saying, bro. Geez. Bro, a kid or not a kid? Yeah, a kid is is we know is like right the next stop after Wano. So it's like, a, a, and to be honest, we didn't see anything from from uh who was it? Uh, smoothie, bro. Like, what does smoothie? Smoothie hasn't done anything in Wano. So anything. Yeah, like, I would yeah. like to see Smoothie do something. If she comes to Egghead, I mean, bro. But it's like five years too late at this point. But... It, movie versus Doll. I, I will remind yeah, you yeah. that. One of the WWE matches, JJ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the Big Mom Pirates have been involved in every single arc, like in this entire like uh, post time skip arc. I mean, post time skip saga. We've had them involved in Fishman Island, Dress Rosa. Zo, Whole Cake Island, obviously. Wano, obviously. So, Egghead, maybe. I mean, we could, like, see Katakuri popping in, but, like, it, it has been a reoccurring theme that they've been in every single arc. So I just, I just love, mm -hmm. I love the community reaction to Big Mom, bro. I just, something about it just makes me laugh so much. Just seeing people going crazy on Twitter, just freaking out whenever he's even a thought of Big Mom showing up again. <clears throat> Like people listen, hate her listen. so much, bro. It, it, I don't know why people hate Big Mom so much. I mean, I, there's something hey, she does. <laughs> Ask me this question, y'all. I really this. think it, it's it's her portrayal because can Big Mom beat out Kiji? Ooh, I don't think so. Uh, it's tough to say. Man, listen, it's... Big Mom is fucking washing out Kiji. Yes, washing. Yes, <laughs> yes, bro. What, bro, washing is not. I, I mean, I, I diff. I just say washing because. The big mama's beat out. The question original, the original question was, could Kid and Law beat Al Kiji? And then that spiraled to. I don't think so. What? I need to, This is my thing, right? With From that the question. strongest Marines of all time. Wow. Okay. Well, like top five strongest Marine of all time. See, I like think said, Kid and really Law. I think Kid and Law <laughs> right now easily take Al Kiji. Easily. This easily. is my thing. Big Mom. Y'all got to think about matchups, bro. Big Mom is a tank. And she can heal herself. And she's just, what, what Luffy call her? Iron Balloon. 
Yeah, but Kuzan, Kuzan could heal himself too. How? I mean, he's Logie, right? So he just he just regenerates. Yeah, that's not how it works. Bro, but like when it comes to like <laughs> hockey and stuff and like yeah, actual like, really high hits. like high powered fights, then it kinda like negates itself. It's not, yeah, it's not the same thing, yeah. Not many people can take that onslaught from Kid and Law, Puncture Willies and Damn Punks and like that's that's tough, bro. Big Mom and Kaido, though, they're built for that type shit. But I don't think like Admirals, I don't think Shanks, I think Shanks and Mihawk could beat that duel because they'll probably take those two down. Like Shanks can one shot kid as we see. But you want to talk about stamina? This dude fought 10 days. He fought one person 10 days, though. Like, one I mean, person. Big Mom, bro, no, 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 Big Mom, but, fought, but, Big Mom but, fought Kaido for three days, though. But like, Kaido is like some major damage, bro. <clears throat> this is like, like Listen, this is not just. Let me ask you this. All right. Hold on, can I just say like Big Mom is a one woman army, yo. Yes. If you get her, like you just put her in the circumstance in the woods, it's it's five hundred on one. You know, you put her in Onigashi, I'm just gonna turn some beams into yo, everybody anybody she's fighting, she's jumping all by herself at the same time. It's gotta take a serious monster to be her, and I don't think Alkiji's that yet. The ten day thing is just that's not like he just fought somebody that was extremely relative to him. Like that's that's stamina, yeah, that's, I guess. That's but... like he fought him for like four hours and got then they you know they took a break and then came back the next day. Yeah, I'm sure they would be just ten I days do, straight. I do agree with Crow. That's still that, a lot of fighting, bro. Like, uh, that is... The whole time thing is very, very interesting because in my opinion, it pretty much shows more so that the matchups are much more equal and closer if the days are longer, if that makes any sense. Mm. Like Ace and Jinbei, for example. Five I feel days. like it, it, it like goes to show that the I matchups agree. are much closer rather than it being like their stamina and endurance is much higher. Although that is the case, but I feel like it's more so trying to show that wow, if these guys are going for ten days straight, they are they're so equal. damn equally matched. Yeah, it's but, not but, like, okay, so, they got crazy stamina, and it, I don't think. But what I'm saying is straight. okay. So Akainu versus Big Mom, who you taking? Um, I'm taking yeah, like Akainu because of the fact that <laughs> well, no, like, uh, okay, but I'm Akainu's just... magma is melting everything right now. I don't think so. Listen, the idea of Akainu's magma and the reality of Akainu's magma are two very different things. This idea that are, everything like... it melts is not true. It was fu- random fodder white beard pirates getting hit by Akainu. They perfectly fine right now. Like that shit is, it's, I think they died like everything he touches is destroyed. No, it's not. Let's stop doing that. Is it offensively potent? Straight to the heart and was and, and lives to tell about. It's it. much more potent than Big Mom. Says who? She got advanced conquerors hockey. That's more potent than any she magma. She can't take down kid. Kid's up. <laughs> Kid's <laughs> in. Kid's <laughs> in. <laughs> Kid's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does that make Shanks even more of him? Even bro. even more of him. I'm just saying. I think the Akino can beat Big Mom too. Don't get me wrong now, but. I don't know. It's extreme diff either way. But Aokiji, I think Big Mom is. is so why is that? I, I so think it's very right. obvious why is it extreme that any of these higher tiers, it's always going to be Listen, extreme. Why is it shit? extreme diff with, no, with Akainu it. and Big Mom, but not with Akainu? Or with They're a, not with as Big Mom and Kuzan. as y'all think they are. Bro, anymore. we just said anymore. the whole point of that fight was to show it was so close, not even stamina. Yeah, back then. Now, I don't think they're they as close as they You think he got like severely stronger than him in the last, what, like year? I think if they fought again, it would be a high-death fight, but I can't know what we mean. Instead of being an extreme 10-day, I don't think, I think it would be that same thing, no bro. I don't, like, I'll say a kind of stronger because he won, but I'm not saying like, it's like Zoro and Sanji to me. No, I don't think so. And then another thing like Ice, like what? Come on, bro. Yeah, bro, he, he has a... He, bro, yeah, he, I, Ice he's is melting ice and event. he can still barely beat him. Bro. I'm talking like, about Big Mom. I'm talking against Big Mom. But what is true. Ice doing to Big uh, Mom, realistically? Big Mom does have uh, Prometheus and uh, uh, the light... Uh, Napoleon, not Zeus no, anymore. No, no, if, 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 if Magma, no, no, no. if Lava is is not able to take down a, a Ice that fast, that is not doing anything to Kuzan, bro. Like What? Bro. I'm I'm just saying that... What is Fire, bro? Fire, that... Like, like kind of said, like, he was way more potent than Ace's Fire, right? He said that his magma beats Sapphire, yeah, but Ace, I mean, it's Ace we talking about. Hold on, let me read this, this donation real quick. Flevon says, Usopp's mom is from Amazon Lily. 
and she caught the fever when I'm assuming you're talking about Yasab. He's not a bomb. Let's not do that. But Yasab set out for cigarettes and milk. Usab gets his warriorship from his mom and it's a misdirection. I would like that. Um, give some more some more um, context. But back to this conversation. I just don't see, like, you can say what you want about Aoki. I mean, Big Mom's fire not being enough for the ice. But I don't see that ice really being an issue for any real competent fighter. Like, Gart was so, crashing out of that shit immediately. Like, he's not is, doing that. If we find out that Kuzan is Congress hockey, does it change your opinion? No. No. Why would it change my opinion? I mean, I, I think that he has it. You still think that her Congress hockey is like that much stronger? I think she got natural advantages as body wise. She has a double fruit that's better in pretty much every way except that it doesn't make you intangible which is pretty much irrelevant in a fight against a top tier and physical feats and strength is just not no, even close to me he can basically right. teleport right like if he creates like a an ice layer he's not the type of logia like green bull where he can like move his body the different conscious like you know what i'm saying he's not that kind of logia well he, he could if he creates like an entire layer of ice under him Right, he like, was he, he making the flow slippery or something? Like, what's that supposed to do? Like, well, no, I'm just saying that he could teleport. Like, it's not like I um, would say teleport. I don't think it would be that fast. Like, bro, it would be fast, bro. I don't think. I don't, I don't it would know. be, bro. Like, like looking at that Garp and, K- and Kuzan fight, you finna tell me that you saw something during that fight that makes you think that he can be Big Mom realistically? Like, let's just be ob- objective here. If you think that Kuzan yeah, is stronger think, than that, and I think Garp could be Big Mom too. Current Garp can't be Big Mom. But anyway, what from that fight did you see that really tells you that he can match with Big Mom? I mean, if I Garb. Yes. Yeah, like I said, I think Garb can Three beat her. So... Wait, you think Garb can beat Big Mom right now? Yeah, I do. I do. And if we're talking about, like, okay, Big Mom has the raw physical power, right? Regeneration. But somehow Garp is moving fast, bro. I don't know how he's doing it, but Garp looks crazy Big fast. Big Mom slow, though. Big Mom is relatively slow. To who? No, she's not. Like, she don't fight like, for three slow. days straight. It's being slow. Like, that's just... But she, bro, she never dodged no attacks from Law and Kid. It's to be one, though. She's never no, needed no. to. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I was no, 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 no. She it's definitely like, needed to. Kato was bro, literally literally never been hurt. hurt. I, I like was not no. at the end of that fight. Like they were putting in some work against Big Mom, bro. And she was just she couldn't dodge them, and she was forced to regenerate. Like at a certain point, she's like kids blasting her with like ten beams, and and laws coming in, uh, hitting her with some crucial attacks. And like she she's feeling the damage, bro. And I and the thing is, we don't know how much Big Mom can regenerate for. We don't know how long it lasts. I mean, I mean, she can just like, she can absorb life around her and her own. I mean, it don't got to last forever. I don't think it's going to take her that long to beat Kuza. Also, chat is wilding right now. Yeah, Jesus I don't know what's Christ. up with this Big Mom. Uh, maybe we should not be talking about Big Mom. Yeah, let's let's move. <laughs> let's move on. Can God God beat Kaido? Can. No. That was a, Big Mom fought Kaido for three days straight, bro. Why we act like this it just didn't happen, bro? Like, we, everybody, I don't like how the narrative around oh. Big Mom is that she's just this dumb and confident oaf. She is. This is a Yonko. She's been a Yonko for, for decades. She's a Yonko, but she's also a dumb oaf. What makes her a dumb oaf? <laughs> she lost the kid alone? It's it's not the, that she lost to them. It's in how she lost to them. It's like the, the stuff she that fought, she does. The way she felt confident, bro. She fought, used, she's a devil fruit reliant bro, She never Yonko. used Congress mm-hmm. Hockey the entire fight. How do we know that? I mean, we don't know, fight, but so we had to assume she didn't because he didn't show it. Saying, it. He's showing Luffy and Kaido with Kongrizaki every punch, bro. He started showing it, but after that, he stopped showing. That's what I'm saying. But he we never showed it for a one, so we never knew. So we, we had saw to her assume. do it versus what your what cuz name is page one. But it felt like at one point during yeah. Wano, he just stopped illustrating the the they're not touching anymore. Like he just stopped doing that. So even if, but even if she didn't, the state that she fought in was still more powerful than the state that she fought Kaido in, like sacrificing her life and going into bigger Big Mom. So like, I'm just saying like, she didn't use advanced Congress hockey. Okay, she still fought in an extremely powerful state that she felt was enough to take down Kid and Law. And it wasn't, but when Kaido up there letting everybody land crazy attacks on him, 
because he feels he can tank it. We don't call him a stupid oaf. We don't say he has bad about IQ. Why is it only this case with Big Mo? No, Kato is dodging lightning, bro. Kato is dodging attacks. Later on in the fight, yeah, just like Big Mom started taking them serious later on in the fight. I'm saying serious, but to no, start but off, she didn't dodge those yeah. those attacks I later mean, on. She's getting Kato too wins, bro. Bro. I remember the early thing. in the fight when Big Mom's like yelling at Kaido to to dodge. It's like it's as if like they don't normally do it. Like she even said that's not a normal sword. It's like yeah. I think that's evidence. Like it took him a while to figure out. Like okay, maybe we should take this more seriously. Like, we can't just. You it's know, a big tank thing in Wano. Those two thinking that they're just so far ahead of the worst generation that they don't even got to dodge their attacks. And they <laughs> learn the hard way that this is not the case. I just said, all the disrespect that Big Mom gets as a top tier. Like, y'all to my admirals and shit, bro? Come on, bro. All right. I, I can now, the only one. I disrespect the admirals too, but, I, you know, I'm not even trying to disrespect Big Mom. I just think Kuzan mm. will win. I don't know what... Has like, how is that disrespectful, bro? Like... Because there's nothing in this story, feet wise or portrayal wise, that has told me that Kuzan can be Big Mom. Well, like I said, you just said Kainu is stronger than Big Mom. If, so he if, you, think, if you think the gap is that far, I mean, death. you might just be disrespecting Kuzan, bro. Because the entire story we've seen, they've been they've been tied together in some way. I mean, their yeah. biggest fight Oh, and was... they lost, and now Kuzan is a Yonko commander, and Akainu is the fleet admiral. This is no longer a thing. Like, let's stop. Let's stop. That's like people... Wait, hold up. So, but he was he was recommended for fleet admiral. It's not like he's not on that on that level, bro. Yeah, but he didn't get it. He lost, and he left. Yeah, he now did, he's he slinking away. Wall. But just because you lose a fight, it makes you bro. Yes, it does. Your spirit can be broken. Yes, it does. His spirit was broken. He was at a bargain until he joined Blackbeard. So he's not like this man. It's not like he, bro. He's not the nah, same Kuzan we saw in that bar, right? He's not the same Kuzan that was getting recommended for Fleet Admiral either. I say, and I'm not saying he's now, gotten weaker. He's truly free now. I'm not saying he's gotten weaker. I'm just saying Akainu is in a position where he has definitely gotten much stronger since then. Meanwhile, Kuzan dicked around for a year or whatever after he lost, and now he's taking commands from a Yonko instead of actually leading something. They're not in the same position anymore to keep continuously. Scaling them so tightly together. It doesn't make sense to think that no one could have wedged coming between the gap between them since a fight from bro, two on, years ago. But it's like saying that Luffy got to be equal to Katakuri. So the now second strongest guy in your crew. Look at Luffy, right? Like Zoro, we're not, no one's disrespecting Zoro. If Zoro and Sanji fought right now, and it was a 10 day fight, right? And after that, Zoro, I mean, Sanji lost and left the crew and went on and was depressed for like a year or whatever. And eventually got picked up by law or some shit. I wouldn't think that Sanji is still equal to Zoro. Or at least able to take Zoro to 10 days. Bro. We've seen people's spirit break after they lose. And they get a, they don't grow at the same Sanji's rate. Sanji's spirit is not anymore. breaking if he loses to Zoro. This is hypothetical. It's not, <laughs> okay. bro. It's not. It is, it is a hypothetical. It's, not it's hypothetical. just not, like, bro. These, but Kuzan's spirit factually his, did break, did it not? His spirit broke because he was torn between the Marines. Like, he wanted to be a Marine, but he, like, when he lost, he's like, well, now I have no, no spot here. So his spirit broke. Are you telling me why? Yeah, I, I, I agree, but I'm saying when he, when he joined Blabbeard, now, like, now he has a spirit back, but for a different reason. What's the reason? He could, like I said, he could truly be free. Like, He's truly free because he's taking commands from Blackbeard. I think we yeah, still but it's still really his choice, bro. Is, like, know. if he didn't want to, he would have just fought Blackbeard. Like, Bla Blackbeard offered him the choice. Listen, we don't screen. know this. These are this is all head I mean, I we don't saying, know why. We, we don't know if Kuzan is actually just in Blackbeard's crew. We don't know if he's undercover. Like, he can still be a Marine for all we know. Nah, but what we do know we is that Akino assume... is the fleet admiral and the head of the Marines, and is taking I'm the Marines I'm to levels that he never been to. He wants to be with Blackbeard, bro. Like. Because, I mean, like, I'm not saying he doesn't. But... I'm not saying he doesn't. Like we know he's still messing with Smoker and people in the Marines, but he fought guard, bro. Like, like what else do we need to see for him to say he's not really a pirate? I'm not denying none of this. I all I'm saying is that we can't just keep scaling him and Akainu as if no one can come in between them because they fought two years ago. Because right now not... their lives are completely different. I'm not if they fought no again, could... it's no longer a 10-day fight. I'm not saying no one could come in between them, but they still have to be close. 
and I don't see a huge difference. I don't even see a, a big gap between them, to be honest. I don't see why not. Like, kind of has, bro, he, he fought Kuma, like. Hey. That, that's all he's done, bro. Like, he wanted to fight Blabber. I respect that, but he didn't, and Kuzan was ready to fight the entire crew. Kuzan. Just like Akane. Oh, like, just like Akane was ready to fight the entire crew. Kuzan was ready for it. And he was alone, bro. And drunk and depressed. And, oh, and Akane was coming I'll in with an entire fleet. You don't bro, think Akane's gonna beat them? No, I'm not saying he can, but I'm just saying like... Do you think why... he needed, like, do you think he needed that fleet? Seriously. No, no, I'm not so, saying like, what that. what is his point making? But what I'm saying is that he did bring that, and I'm saying, you're saying his his spirit is shattered, but he was still... Bro, he was not afraid of Blabbeard. Hey. He never so he never showed one sign of fear with an entire Yonko crew. Blackbeard. The Blackbeard Pirates. Yeah. Like you think he would have been moving like that versus Shanks? No, bro. Come on, bro. The exchange is uh, different. Even Big Mom or Kaido. Like Big Mom, no, no, no. Big, Big Mom is is not treating anybody the same way like Shanks. Kaido is treating Shanks different. Bro, Kaido was negotiating no, I'm with saying, Shanks. When if he, Kaido, if, if if it would have been instead of the Blackbeard Pirates that came to that bar that day, instead of Blackbeard with all his commanders, let's say Big Mom with her strongest ten fighters, or Kaido with his strongest ten fighters, do you think he would have been able to do them the same way? Well, hold on, not uh, say it again. I'm saying the day that Aokiji was at the bar, yeah, drunk. Let's say if Kaido pulled up his ten strongest fighters, or if Big Mom did with her ten strongest fighters, do you think he would have been able? To basically know them, them the same way, or do you just? No, we know that not, the Blackbeard crew is just not as strong. stronger, bro. It's same for Big Mom, right? No, no. That's so. How you fight Big Mom? How Big Mom and Fido fight for three, fight for three days? You're you're not trying to separate Aokiji and and, and Akinu because they fought two years ago, and Akinu lost his. So I mean, wanna, Aokiji bro, lost his so leg. You and want to put Kaido and Big Mom that close? I'm not saying they're 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 equal. No, I don't think they're equal. Okay, that's but what I'm saying. They too. have more. Listen, so we agree. They have much more of an argument to be close than Akinu and Aokiji. Hell do. no. Hell no. Two years ago, and one lost their leg. Meanwhile, two weeks ago, Big Mom and Kato fought he for three days. Lost his straight. leg after ten days, and bro, and and like I said, I'm just yes, he he's did. Got the devil fruit advantage, right? And if bro, he, I'm bro, talking about if currently, he fought that like, let's say we don't know when he lost that leg, right? If he lost that leg day one, that means he fought nine more <laughs> days with one leg. What does this mean in regards to... He, that means he has seven. a severe injury and he's going you, in and still... Bro. You, listen, I'm going to tell you what you're doing right now. And I'm saying... You cannot tell me that because these two guys fought two years ago for 10 days that they can't be that far apart. But Big Mom I'm and saying, what's the reason why? A week ago. Because they have completely different roles. And like, it's no longer Aokiji and Akinu as admirals and equals fighting vying for the same position as a fleet bro. admiral. Akainu is the fleet admiral, and Aokiji is the, the Yonko commander now. Big Mom and Kato, if we want to go there, but that's but listen, but listen. The difference is they just fought for three days straight. It wasn't two years ago, and Big Mom ain't lost no leg or got nerves since then. They just fought. So to say that they're much closer than Kaido, I mean, Akainu and Aokiji makes more sense because this was a recent battle instead of something that happened two years ago. And then a lot of shit has changed since then. But what has really changed, bro? Like, like who? How has Akainu got it that much stronger? Admiral. But how? But how does that make you stronger if you're competing for it that close? Like, what has well, Crow, to, to be what fair, has wait, done to get that much stronger, bro? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Yo, real quick, I uh, just want to say, Crow, you are kind of equating the fights to be kind of the same, even though the, the durations were like different. To, to be fair, because of the fact that Aokiji and Akainu's fight was extremely more serious, whereas we kind of know for a fact that Big Mom and Kaido's fight, although it was for a long time, and it, although they fight quote-unquote serious, like we can acknowledge the fact that those top tiers, Yonkos and stuff, pirates, they love fighting, and it's more so like greeting, hello, and like they end up just fighting and then like cheering up later on. Hey, wait, and, like, wait, Roger, bro, it's, come on, it's not the same, come on. 
they, they, they do. No, it's not. Like, it is. So, bro. No, it's not. Kato is crying like, because although, he's. Although, like, was. it was for a long time, you do have to agree the fact that the intentions of the fight were completely different. I don't care about no intentions. I'm telling you that two people fought for three days, for three days straight. They should be scaled close to each other. But at the you can't say that one of them is way no, when that so is true, with... it, it makes a whole lot of a difference when the fight is for completely different reasons. Like if you're fighting to say hello versus fighting for your career and your life's sake job, like and whoever loses pretty much losing everything versus that is the like... reason why the fight only lasted three days because it was a more of a greeting. I agree with that. But at the end of the day, you cannot say that because this was a different, there were different circumstances. That don't change, but she was still able to match Kaido for three days. Using advanced contact, they, they split the sky upon greeting. So who's metric? Who says that? Crow, I'm right, not. I'm not on, saying man. that. Uh, I'm saying the difference is great. We just, 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 just got to consider both circumstances. We can't equate them to be the same thing. That's what I'm saying. We all just agree that that you, fight was more serious. They fought for three days straight. Matching each other, bro. I don't care about none of that. All of that is just extra fluff to add pointless points to this argument. Not really, because three days, you, ago, two years you, ago, bro. If if you think about what it, two like, years matter. What has he done in two years? And everything is extremely important. I mean, Luffy says himself, he wants to know his opponent's feelings, his emotions during the fight. So you think it was holding back against each other? Huh? Yeah, I think it was holding yes, back to me. Bro, bro, Kato I mean, said, why, why, why? said, I'm going to kill Big Mom, and Big Mom pulled up with one ship and, and smoothie, and that's it. So he said he was going to kill her. He didn't take that serious, well, that means bro. that he was being serious. No, because she didn't take it serious. He warned her not to come into my territory. She pulled up anyway. They fought on sight. And like, then y'all they trying fought to on sight, like just like how Whitebeard and Roger and fought on sight. No, that's not the same relationship. The same Stop thing, that. Bro. No, it's not. It is bro. Big Mom and Kato are not like Big, Big Mom Roger is his, his older sister, <laughs> bro. It, it like, like come it's on, not bro. the same relationship, bro. I would say it's <laughs> even more friendly terms. Wait, no, no, but more yeah. Friendly. Okay, y'all just make shit up now. Crow, crow, you can't. No, we're just not. Make shit up now. He literally was bawling his eyes out in chapter like ten forty one or ten forty two. He's literally because crying. Big Mom got beat. Yeah, yeah, bro. He was bawling his eyes out. Bro. He's about, bro, you you bro, can't bro, just I'm... ignore the relationship completely. What does that mean? It means that, bro, he cares about Did for Big her from Mom a different level. Did Big Mom and Kaido fight for three days straight? If you fight for three days straight, for you fun. have to be... Kaido loves to fight, bro. We know that. Fight, bro. We know Big Mom does, too. I don't... Listen, everything you're saying right now is, is pointless. Luke if they can, if they so can match so each other for that long, if, if they're only similar to each other. like if saying what I'm shins, trying to right? say, but much more concise. He said, I think the context is important. Maybe they both didn't go all out trying to tire each other or out first. The prize of free admiral was huge enough to cause hesitation to use risky moves. And that makes sense. I'm no, not bro, denying it's that. Like if but what I'm saying Luffy is... Compared to if Luffy and Blabbeard fought. It's different, No, it's not. Bro. First of all. It's different. No, it's not. What I am saying is you're scaling these people so far apart. Even if this was a friendly greeting, even if this was also, it wasn't. Like the way y'all trying to get, they were just, hey, best friend, let's fight. No, it wasn't like that. Even if that's the case, you cannot sit up here and scale them that far apart if they were able to match each other for that long. And it could have been longer. They stopped fighting. Nobody won or lost the fight. It could have been longer than three days. You can't sit up here and tell me that Big Mom and Kaido are miles apart and you can right. disrespect big mom and call her dumb but because mm -hmm. some guys fought two years ago and have lived completely different lives since then one as the fleet admiral and one as a yonko commander and half of that time wasn't even as a yonko commander they have to still be scaled that closely i'm not scaling that just I'm not scaling, doesn't make I'm not, sense. the difference is that we've seen kato's full arsenal we've seen big mom everything she could do we haven't seen everything that akano has done we haven't seen him go all out, go all out since marine four right so we haven't seen that screen. That fight was off screen. With Big Mom and Kaido, right. we can clearly see which one is is de is definitely stronger. Like, if we want to go into the nitty gritty, Kaido has stronger Congress hockey. He has a stronger Devil Fruit. He's a better fighter, a better combative bro. Like, like there's almost nothing that Big Mom is beating him at. Maybe defensive ability. Maybe like because of her regeneration. <laughs> but like besides that, it's like what is Big Mom, bro? He has even physically, I would put Kaido above him above her so it's like 
in in that sense, it's like we we can have a reason to to have the debate of Big Mom and Kato not being close. Who's no, on the, in the Kato? We don't the know. We don't know fought. if they have even you're conquered saying hockey. that Big Mom is slow and all this because she's fighting two people and can't react to both of the people she fought. While Kato is fighting one guy that he's focusing on. That's not the same thing. But you can give Kuzan a mound of excuses for why he had a terrible showing against Garp. He ran into Garp three times in a row, got punched off panel each time, and then didn't, didn't land any meaningful hit until after he got stabbed. But you can give a mound of excuses for that. Like go back and read that fight versus Al Alki, Alkiji and, and Garp. He yeah. didn't land a punch until their third clash. He got hit with blue hole, knocked off off panel. After that, he came back, knocked oh, off oh. panel. Then he got. But why is that? But but Garp is strong. But why are we acting like Garp is not strong? Garp himself says, "I'm no longer close <clears> to my prime, bro." That's what I'm saying. And, he is a and prime much Garp weaker old is man, the bro. strongest Marine to ever exist. But current Garp is not. Yeah. So what? But why are we downplaying Garp? It's not well, a matter of downplaying. It's just you y'all giving the mean Garp. excuses. I'm not. I don't care what prime Garp did. Old Garp is not doing those things. Garp landing on the island, did a guy's impact. The first thing he says is, I'm nowhere near as strong as I used to be. He then goes onto this island. Yeah, but bro, he just be saying that just embarrassed. to flex, bro. He like, just said, see, like, you can't like, just, bro, say, Garp just, just say, say what Garp stuff. means, nah, bro. bro you, like, bro, he just, like, he threw, <laughs> well, we saw it, like, in, in uh, Water 7, he comes in, throws the cannon, boy. he says, I'm not even, like, half as strong as, like, bro, he just saying that just to brag, bro. Maybe he's telling the truth. But why, but no, but he keeps just saying it like like bro, it's like it's a part of his character. Like he like, always oh, talking about, trying to tell us something. He's, bro, he's, he's, he's the greatest Marine, the like I said. So he's always talking about the glory days. He's not there. We get that. But Garp is still strong, bro. Like he's not even like he yeah, might not be near, close bro. to his prime. But his no, prime is is it's ridiculous, bro. Like Current it's like Garp is just not that it's comparable to like that back then. Bro, Ken not like comparing not being Garp to Roger and Whitebeard. I'm right? going to interject real, real quick, and I'm just going to say shout out to Vex. Everybody that don't got a membership, make sure you got allowed memberships on because Vex going to make sure you got a membership before this thing <laughs> is over. Let's believe All right, Carl, I'm yeah, asking please, please turn on a live membership. Please. Bro, what is the difference between Big Mom and Kato then? I think that Kato is stronger than Big Mom, but I don't think it's just a huge watch like y'all think so. I don't if, think it's if a Kato huge was a watch. 10, If Kato was a 10... I would say Big Mom is like a eight point five. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a wash. I just don't. But there's reasons why you can infer that. But you're saying I said that Big Mom can be Alkiji, but I say it would be high diff, right? No, we're not doing that today, preach. My, I mean, Prince. My bad. All right, man. That that's better. next week. But um, right. I said that Big Mom and. Akina would be an extreme diff fight with either one winning, and that Big Mom and Aokiji would be a high diff fight with Big Mom winning. But yeah. because they fought two years ago, that can't be true. But then again, when we talk about Big Mom and Kaido, you try to separate them in such a way as if one doesn't belong in the same tier to other, even though they fought a week ago in story and you, matched each other. I, I, listen, I, know straight. You, I get what you're saying, bro. I just said, but like, like I said, we've seen Big Mom and Kaido. We didn't see the other the other two. We saw little with, with but we Kuzan saw and Garp. Fight. We saw him fight. We saw, Al-Kiji. yeah, we saw I mean, a bit. We, I, in my opinion, we, he didn't go all out. See, that's head cannon. Like that's what I'm saying. I mean, you can't it, just, it is, bro. But it's, it's, we saw the Marine for it. What did he do? Special Marine for? He got punched by Diamond Joseph and was bleeding out his nose. That's what I'm saying. These admirals don't have the feats to be put on this pedestal that y'all try to put them and, on. And like. Akano doesn't either. That's facts. I agree. But I, what I'm saying is, but Akainu has a better argument now. No, in his he, stature he, as the fleet admiral, almost it's, it's Akainu much has, fairer. Has no feet since Marine Ford. It's much fairer to us. His only feat is that, that he Akainu, beat on. It's much fairer to assume that in Akainu's position as fleet admiral, he has trained and gotten much stronger than since then. Meanwhile. Kuzan, who spent a lot of his time with his spirit broken and is now not even the leader of the organization he's in, a Yonko commander. I can't say that he's grown at the same rate since that fight ended. That just doesn't make sense. Hey, man. I mean, at this point, we're just repeating ourselves. So it's like. All right. This is a good way to pretty much end everything. (laughs) And I think it's time to rate the chapter. Let's rate the chapter. (laughs) Great segue. 
Yeah, great segue. That was excellent. Hey, Sakazuki, right. top one. <laughs> God damn it, Zane. Like, bro, Zane, well, where I, were you, bro? Like, I, I, I'm like waiting bro. for Zane to say something, bro. <laughs> why, why are you begging for help? Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I'm like, bro, like, you, I know you guys. I was thinking the same thing, bro. I was entertained. No, 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 it's not not help, bro, but I'm saying like you need Jim Bay to come save you from Luchi. It's not help, bro. Look, look you don't step into the a fight. Guy, you know guy, right? right? You know that. If it's the Akainu guy, all... I expect something, bro. But I said, but but what I'm saying is giving Akainu. But I said Akainu can beat Big Mom, but it'll be extreme. If I'm not hey. down playing Akainu though. I don't know when it's, a Kino, like, when a Kino kills Kizaru, that's gonna be the best feat that like, anybody bro, got in the story. Jesus if if anything, bro, Prince, I expect good, good Zane try, to Prince. come in here and like I, I and really boost the Kino like even more and say he it's it's a huge gap, bro. I'm not hey. I'm just I'm just trying to see what he has to say. You you were talking about my boy Zoro a lot, Crow. But I got one question for you. I got one question for you, brother. You talking about Zoro, bro? Is it isn't your boy? The eye glare victim. Oh, oh, that's what happens. That's yeah, what happens right. when you on the front lines fight. You run into people like that. You, when you, when you're not at the zoo. Bro, bro's taking a screaming. look at the big cat. Hey, you know what's funny, bro? We all agree. The big cat we, exhibition. Everybody bro's here agreed screaming. that that would not happen to Zoro. That wouldn't happen. I don't care what y'all agreed on. I don't care. That would happen to Zoro. <laughs> Hell no, <nah>, bro. <laughs> because Hell everybody nah. is older here. Do I get <laughs> Zoro puts on that bandana? Saturn's done for. What about Keith? What about Lucci? Is is Lucci stronger than Saturn? Bro, he's already beat Lucci. He's just lost right now. Bro, bro. that was a just long live. bro. That's like if a Zoro classic. lost right now in this situation. He got trash observation hockey. I don't think we've had a debate like that in like months. Nah, bro. man, because niggas be holding us back, bro. Keep trying to change topic, bro. Let, let's cook. This is a short chapter. Nah, that, was fire, bro, that was fire, bro. That was fire. Wanted to rate the chapter. Oh, God damn, bro. What, My what bad, bro. <laughs> bad, bro. What was the basis? Um, oh, I forgot at this point. I don't know. Oh, it was if um, Kid and Law could beat uh, Who's on? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. You know, I'm making a poll, bro. Let's see what Chaz says. No, is sir, here. bro. And by no, the way, no, Brooke won 51%. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. The... Because Can't first, like all, first of all, neither. Beat... What was it? Oh, Kid and Law. I don't care what y'all say, bro. Old Garp has more attack potency than Kid and Law, bro. In, in terms of like basic attacks. And I'll tell Man, you what, Kuzon, is, Kuzon is not getting hit by Puncture Willie, bro. I promise he's not. Why not? Blackbeard and because he's too fast. What have you seen that? Like what Peter? Wait, wait, no, no. Black got hit by, by Puncture Willie. He got hit by Shock Willie. It's the same shit. Like, no, no. Puncture listen, Willie is like can get hit by Diamond Jozu, but he can't get hit by Puncture Willie. Bro, first of all, Blackbeard and Big Mom are two tanks that stand in one spot. They're Diamond not Diamond Jozu landed a punch on him and made him start bleeding out the one punch. <laughs> bro, he can't off get hit guard. By... He was off, off guard. guard. He was right in front of him. <laughs> no, bro, he was off guard. <laughs> Man, listen. <laughs> Y'all, y'all act like this. I love Admiral fan like Marine Ford didn't exist. That's all. That, that's bro, crazy. I'm not, I'm not an Admiral fan, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, there's so much stuff. You, I don't even like, like the Admirals like that, that much. Years ago. It was a few years ago, but that don't change nothing. Why does that not change anything? You know how long t- two years is in One Piece? Bro, if you fight Yoko Commander two years ago, I don't need to hear nothing about you in regards to no, in fighting a, a real Yoko. Unless your name, Monkey D. Luffy. Man Listen, got punched bro. by. Diamond Jozu. Bro, first of all, Kid is not doing anything to Kuzan. I promise you that's Marine not Four, All right, let's, just, let's be real, though. Marine 4 has some of the worst power skilling I've ever seen, bro. No, that's a bad power skilling. That's my question. Bro. Why does... It's only bad if it does not fit your agenda. It's not about agenda, bro. It, it's, yes, it does. No, it's it's, it's not, bro. It's like... Bro, and I think people like to downplay how strong Yonko commanders are. Like, this is white, one of white... It's like, bro, I want to see Mihawk one side <laughs> Vista. Why can't I just get there, bro? But this is the thing. Mihawk postponed that fight is because he has respect for his sword, dude. That's realistically the reason why. But these admirals was fighting Yonko commanders. That's a fact. They had to nerf Marco. Hey, Sakazuki stood in front of the whole crew and said, y'all are all bums. And then he punched That's one of them and he got right back up and in the dark. I thought he had the most potent. Like, this is what I'm talking about, man. You're making shit up, bro. Bro, he does have the most potent. Like Jinbei level fighters, man. He one-shot Jinbei. <laughs> He literally one shot Jimbe. Literally, he one shot Jimbe. He one shot Jimbe. He overwhelmed Marco with ease. He just, he killed Whitebeard. Wait, um, are you praising Jimbe right now? 
No, that's a joke. Jim A level is bad. Jim <laughs> A level is not bad. <laughs> no, I'm just bullshit. Nah, Jim A is strong. I still don't know how Jim A survived like, that, bro. Because that it doesn't apply. That's, that's the only reason. That's no, why. no, that it's because Oda. <laughs> it's because Oda had to use the plot plot no need to say that. Every, what what about Kuma? Is it is this the plot or is this double fruit is not as potent as we believe it to be? Hey, is Oda Kuma said himself. It? Oda himself said it's the most. And he did say that. Has the most AP out of any but fruit. Oda said it got the most AP. Don't mean that everybody that come into contact with this fruit. It's, it's getting melted to Bro, smithereens. Oh, someone, yeah. Every right. single person that has <laughs> been hit by a kainu's devil fruit has a either kainu. had a hole in their body, a Ooh. limb missing, or yeah, died. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, Ooh. I'll be honest, bro. Cool, Literally uh, every kainu, single person fights. He has one of the coolest Kuma? feats in One Piece. Like yes. he, the, the fact that he permanently injured Kuzan, a Logia, is like one of the coolest feats. Bro, he literally Man. blew his leg Crocodile, Clash with Akinu. He's oh good. God, bro. <laughs> it's a random no name white beard pirate Akinu who punched in the chest. He is good. Bro. Um, who else? Who bro, you know how many oh people Kaido Thunder Bogwood and they're No, so but this is the thing. I'm not saying no, that every no, time. No, no. You just but said. Not gonna, no, no, but you're not just saying. Say, you just said but out of your mouth. No, no, you're not going to do that. No, no, no. <laughs> no you just no, said no, no, out no. your mouth <laughs> that everybody that, that comes into contact with a Kainu is left with a limb missing or something else. I've just oh, told no, you times it didn't happen. No, I added more. I said either a limb missing, a hole in their body, or they die. Which but is that's true. not true. No, it's not. It is true. Or severely burned. <laughs> or severe. Oh, okay, okay. What else you want to add? I mean, that's supposed to happen. He has magma. Yeah. What else do what you, you want to add? That's my point. <laughs> Man. Huh. But we're not going to act like that's... We're not going to downplay that, bro. Like, Because Kaido has... <laughs> Kaido literally has some of the best hockey in the verse. Uses it on like fodder in comparison to him. I'm talking about the scabbards, obviously, and that didn't kill him. So we just gonna call but Kaido. This is the thing. Now. Nobody is telling you every time somebody run into Kaido, they leave the fight with a missing limb, their head cut off. That's because his under no. Bogwe isn't doing that. It's not doing that. It, exactly. it causes trauma. It exactly. causes blunt trauma. He just punched Kuma in the face and the leg. Kuma good. He Bro, nuts and bolts. He blew his face off and then Oda regenerated it. See, see, you dead going. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just because y'all see smoke around where I can you know, hit people, don't mean that the part of their that part of their body is bro missing. Has, bro, you only has one person. It's Kuma. That's the only person. Now. It's Croc. Wait, so hold on. So when he blew so his leg off, you thought that was just like smoke? <laughs> No, he did not blow his leg off. That's what I'm saying. Smoke is covering his leg. There's no regeneration. He just he didn't do it. That's not bad though. It's a it was a strong punch. I'm just saying. I've just noticed the Sakazuki fans be like, like what Zane just said out of his mouth. Every time you come into contact with the fruit, you wind up missing something. That's just not true. It is 100. percent It's true. a strong fruit though. That's the two man. See y'all. These Admiral niggas, bro, y'all done got loose cannon cops. Bro, I don't, don't care what that nobody is. says, bro. Whenever <laughs> you go back and read that chapter, you literally see Sakazuki blow half his head off. Bro, you see it. Away, bro. I agree, it's bro. No, I bro. Agree. You go literally see the magma blowing his head go off. Go to the chapter, bro. It's I'm looking at it right now. The contact of the punch. No, bro. there's the not. His, right hand, right his hand it's literally up. goes through his face, and you can see it clearly. I'll say the head. No, the head, I'll say, like, it's it's questionable, but I feel like the leg is like it no, looks bro, like he took his bro. leg off, bro. What chapter bro. is it, bro? Go to like, the chapter. Yeah, let me find go it. Go to the page. Dang, you say you look at the chapter. Go what chapter is it? I I don't know. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at it on Google. I'm yeah, not it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say y'all good. Y'all don't want us to see it. Go, go to the when he right like uses hell, when he uses hellhound, bro. It. You can bro, see smoke, half of his head drawn, bro. You can literally see it, bro. So we're ahead at ninety. How you get a bet? No, the the head. Hey, I, I mean, Oda I can see. <laughs> it's Oda. That man's eyes still messed up. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. All right, man. Let's break the chapter for Prince Blow. Of, I mean, a blood vessel. All right. Break the chapter. <laughs> supposed to do it in the beginning of the stream, but here we are. Because it's some nasty right, numbers on the way. That's why. That's why I ain't, I ain't been trying to get to it. But let's see it. Yeah, what you got? What you got? Me? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, uh, pretty much Vex put it in the chat. Uh, 10 out of 10 for theories. 
And oh, I man. kind of agree, but not, 10 out of 10 might be a bit too far. I, I say 9 out of 10 for theories. But overall, as a chapter, uh, since it's a clear setup, I gave it a 7.5. I, I, I know I usually am lenient. And in this case, I feel like I'm being a little bit more lenient as well since this chapter didn't really present too much new information. Almost mm -hmm. nothing really, except for just like crew members and stuff doing their jobs and their roles and stuff like that. But other than that, uh, we see Robin. Uh, so mm -hmm. like that's something new. But other than that, not really much. So I'll give it a 7.5. Okay. Friends, real quick. So you said that this is a 10 out of 10 chapter in regards to theories. What, what makes you say that? I said oh, 9 out of 10. Said 10, 10. Well, I'm saying 9 out of 10 though? mainly because yeah. of the fact that now, like, I'm thinking about it more so, especially since Dax said the whole, like, one day thing of the ship. Now I'm starting to theorize more and more about what's happening at the end of the chapter. That really sealed it for me. Mm. And there's also a bunch of stuff, like, in between the chapter. Like, let's see here. Uh, one thing that I do not like, though, and that's why I bumped it down to a 7.5, is that they keep using this filler, like, Marines, like, running away from the scene in like an egghead like over and over again like that's one thing i don't like because they keep doing it over and over again so i don't appreciate that but uh there's moments here and there that like are just like more lore based that saturn's revealing a bit more and more about uh the whole world that i do like that's just leaking a little bit and bit so that's why like for theories i'd rate it like a bit higher but as for the chapter as a whole it's a bit more than mid for now. Cool, JJ, let's hear it, because I know I, I got some on the way. Let's hear it. Oh, man, oh, man. So listen, man, I got to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the student professor when it comes to OPU, you know what I'm saying? I don't know exactly how many chapters I've read, but honestly, let me just say, like, I, I started at 1,000. Let me just keep it light there. Yo. This may be the wackest chapter I ever read. Like, I ain't, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Damn. Kizuru? I'm, I'm I mean, that Kizuru. Kinemon? Yeah, well, what about the Kinemon fart chapter, man? I, that one was brutal. That was bad. Like, like, I think that that may have been before, was, like, before I actually in, started like, reading. Peak, that may have been before I actually started reading. Rate. I apologize. Wait, wait, we're we talking about, like, when Luffy and he was fighting and then he, he ran up to it. I don't remember exactly what chapter it was. But at the same time, when you have Luffy and Kaido boxing in the background, that still adds to it. I really feel like the things that held up this chapter the most to me was just paying attention to Kizaru. I mean, if he wanted to take out, you know, Frankie and them in that little tube thing, he could have did that. But he didn't. He just knocked out the thing they were traveling in. Throughout the whole chapter, every time you look at Kizaru, he got the little drawings over his eyes because everything he's doing is done with trepidation. I'm like, the more I read this, the more comfortable I'm thinking Kizaru is going to find one way or another to assist the Straw Hats. But I think he's got to still hold face when it comes to Saturn, when it comes to the world government altogether. That's why I say, like, I think I ain't going to put hands on him once he realized his justice wasn't absolute. But like I said... This chapter, it, it, it was it was a lot of filler. I thought last week was the setup chapter, and I guess we just I guess January is just a setup month. But yo, like, <laughs> listen. So we six, six point five, y'all. Six point five. Chapter ever is crazy, but I see. I feel crazy. what you're saying, bro. I, feel I think there are worse chapters of Egghead in this one. I agree. I agree. Remind me, refresh my memory. Yeah, what we talked about before, like, before, like doing the it York. It was shit. during the York stuff, yeah. Yeah, I think them works. Like this one was, like I said, I think that when you're doing nothing bad, like this didn't do anything good to say, but it also didn't give you nothing negative. So I can't say like a chapter like with the York stuff. We focused on that stuff. Some of that stuff was just boring. I'll say this: if if it's Blackbeard, then this chapter is trash. Because we already know Blackbeard is, is yep. somehow involved. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I, so yeah. like, I, I agree with you. Yes. This but we don't know yet. So, I mean, it's kind of yeah. interesting. But, like, I mean, I, to me, it, this chapter was, was like, it's like the stuff with Vegapunk and stuff is getting a little bit too repetitive and, like, with Kuma and everything. Like, like we get it, man. Like, we understand, like, you know, he has an issue with Saturn. We don't. and, and But, like, how you said, nothing really is happening. Uh, the one cool scene that I will say that I liked was um, Saturn and Kizaru telling Doll like, you know, everybody get out, but we're staying here. Like oh. that that scene was hard to mm -hmm. me. I, I mean, I like that scene. Um, you know, Sanji and Brick had some cool moments, but I don't think it was like a horrible chapter. 
But I can see what you mean. If it was whack as just like it's just kind of like a it's like a whatever chapter. So I'll give it's it like a, 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 a I'll give it like a mm, I'll give it like so a, a seven six, six seven. Hilarious. I'll go Still seven because <laughs> that la- that last they did get me excited. I'm not gonna lie, but but yeah, I'll give it a seven. So all right, what I got, I guess I'm I'm weird in this. I do my grading as if like I do it based off the school scale, right? So Wait, ten out of ten cover chapter though. Ten out of ten cover story. No, actually, actually, actually that, that knocks it down a point for me. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'm saying like so when I say stuff like six, I look at six as a D. Like I said, if you get a D, you go home and show your mama a D, she's gonna be like, Hey, you're done. Well, but if well, you Crow, show no, Crow, you're right though, and, and think about tutor. I'll say this: you're right because it, think about where we are in AK, right? We're in the peak of the climax of of the fight. Saturn is here, uh, Kizaru is here. Like we're going through some crazy moment, and it doesn't feel like that. So I see what mm-hmm. you're saying, bro. Like in the context yeah. of what's going on, it, it's a D. And think okay. about everything we went through. Like compare this chapter to any y'all, like, y'all said there were some better chapters in 2023 but i'm just i'm i'm having issues coming up with them personally we go back to our stream when we did the tier list because like there's one that was knowing that tier list bro the way i see it too is is if you look at an arc like marine ford right like i know it's a much shorter thing yeah, it's, it's more know, condensed every single chapter in that is a 10 out of 10 in my mind no. it, it, it felt like it and, and but there was a chapter where it felt like nothing happened like this. It, one. It, that's what I'm saying, bro. So like every chapter, there's something progressing in a major way, or there's a, a fun fight or something going on. And, and then like this chapter, just felt like it's a filler. Or it's not a filler, but like a fluff of like we just want to see um, something big happening. So yeah, I see what y'all are saying, man. I'm a seven though, just to be fair. Because as a Sanji fan, I do think that some big things were set up for next week. And also, we did get a Brook moment. I keep seeing people on Twitter, Oda don't know about how to use Brook. He keep fumbling Brook. Okay, you got a moment. Cool. Shut up now. All right, back to the important characters. Big Frankie, I think he's going to have a big moment coming up soon as well. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? What else? Uh, yeah, JJ, you was, on, you was spot on about that Q's group stuff. I, I definitely think that there's something there. Um, it's just so it's 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 hard to get a read on him now, and I know it's kind of like his character thing with being like unclear or whatever. Because I mean, if you wasn't gonna do nothing, you could just I mean, like if you wasn't gonna do anything positive to help like destroy his Omega Punk, you could just stay down. You know what I'm saying? But um, he gets up and he just makes life harder. He's destroying everything. There are all the means to escape. So like at the same time, like. Are you really gonna switch? Because you're not doing anything to show me that. Like, I don't know. I'm getting too many mixed signals from him. But I think that definitely is. There's a, there's a door open there for him to redeem himself. Um, I think I think Vegapunk is a very dumb person. Uh, he's smart, <laughs> but he's dumb. I, I just don't naive. Yeah, no, no, dumb. Naive is being nice. Oh, he's dumb. I just don't know how he's sitting up here crying by his island being destroyed. <laughs> like, bro, you got no flash drive or nothing? Like, you can back up this information? I know you're losing a lot of technology or whatever. No, nah, bro, come on. No, nah, that's that's like his life's work, bro. Like, I can see why <laughs> nah, he's that's crying. that's messed up, bro. <laughs> that's I, messed I can up. see why he's crying, but like... I get it. I'm just saying... No, I do, I do see it. Like, cause, no, I see what you're saying, because cause he predicted this would happen, so he should have, like, a reason, or, or exactly. he, he would he should have found some kind of solution to, to done something. Yeah, I, but I don't. I mean, I think he has every right to cry though, because like, bro, you gotta think how much time he's put into this. So it's. Man, I can get a flash drive, nigga. Put back it up, <laughs> his up, back it up to the cloud, bro. You knew what you I gotta. Doing. I gotta. I didn't. I gotta say one more thing. I forgot to say it though. But Saturn dropped another bar in this in this chapter again, where he was talking about the dead keep the best secrets. Like that was a hard <laughs> line too. And then um. I just want to say I hope Saturn like or Vegapunk takes a and hit and he what Saturn said to him. You should have kept your greed in check because that's the same thing that me and Crow is basically complain. I feel we've been cl- complaining about for the most part. Like yeah, you doing all this stuff to uh make advancements, but it's it's 
you know, with your seraphims and all these other things you're giving mm -hmm. to the government is really at a detriment to the world. And now mm -hmm. it's literally at your doorstep affecting everything that you created. So I hope he gets himself another circumstance in which he's able to make some advancements and see that like, oh, it may affect some people negatively and make a better decision than what mm -hmm. he's been making previously. I hope that plays yeah, a part. I made a, I made a oh, tweet. It's gonna said, be a uh, shit ton of self-reflection like during during the end or the conclusion of this arc and after once we get to Elba, for sure. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, imagine a futuristic giant. <laughs> Zane and, I wanna hear Zane and Dak on this chapter. Yeah. Uh, Zane, let's hear it. Man, this is a five out of 10 chapter, bro. Damn, bro. I, I thought I, I was the I first grader. Is there a reason why? Is it, is There's it, definitely it, a reason why, but I will not elaborate. Uh, I'll just no, say no, we know what the reason is, bro. Uh, we, know. we know. But bro. for what it is, if that whole debacle was taken out, it'd be like a smooth seven. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but other than that, that, that makes it better. You think that made the chapter better? Nah, <laughs> nah, not when you're a Twitter user. <laughs> no, that, right? oh, we gotta bring up, so we gotta pull up some of these memes I've been seeing. <laughs> when they put Zoro face over Sanji's with the "Help me, Robin," and they put, "Help me, Jim <laughs> yeah, That was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. You can tell these Sanji fans been waiting. For <laughs> oh God, they had that shit loaded up, boy. Hey, you gotta include yourself in there, Crow. Come on, you can't I mean, say I don't make memes. I don't make. I, mean, I, I, I really been avoiding trying to avoid Snyder and Zoro because this is how I feel about it. when you when a when a main character is in a bad situation like that. You know, it's inevitable that they're gonna make it out and they're gonna do things yeah. positive. We yeah. know that Sanji wasn't gonna be stuck froze in front of Saturn forever. Yeah. We also know he's not gonna be number four forever. But you can get your jokes off. But it's while fun, bro. You gotta have some fun with it, bro. Yeah, you can have fun. So that's why I'm saying, like, Sanji fans got a chance to do some memes about. It's rare that you get to see some about Zoro that you can joke about because Oda always bootlicking them. So you feel me? They taking advantage of it. Well, did it's you fun, see what man. I told, what I said on Twitter? I was telling you, like, Sanji fans are just they're built different now because they're used to it. Zoro fans are not used to like, it. It's like, a, yeah, they, it's like armor. You got built up yeah. armor. It's tolerance, tolerance. Yeah, tolerance. I'm, sure. bro, wait, wait. <laughs> Most Zoro fans are Mihawks fans. Mihawk fans. So what do you mean they're not used to it? But, but people don't slander Zoro, though. Like, they, they slander Mihawk, so they're used you to slander. You don't like Mihawk as much as you like Zoro, do you? Nah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, same <laughs> <with> me, so. <laughs> exactly. Like, so it goes... Luffy Zoro. Every then, Zoro fan that I know I, is like their favorite character by far. Like it's like it, yeah. there's a tier with just Zoro at the top. Yeah. And that's how most I mean of he's them just are, he's so. just different, bro. He's just I that agree, guy. I agree. But uh But Dag, what, what do you think about this chapter, man? Alright, so I think I have a little bit of a contrarian opinion uh to the group, and I was actually it's funny because in my head I was like I'm I'm gonna compare this to chapter I think it's 1074 when we first got hinted of Kuma's flashback through Bonnie seeing the first part of the memories. This reminds me of that chapter just in the way that it's like a really good setup chapter. And I'm pretty sure that I was even on OPU after that chapter. We had like a very similar discussion where I said I liked it, and it's for a very similar reason to this chapter, where it's kind of like the king of setup chapters for me. Uh, because like it is a setup chapter. So if I have to give the grade, it's eight out of 10 because like a setup chapter is automatically going to be like eight and a half max, you know, it's just like, that's just how it goes. Uh, like whenever I do my chapter, my, or my chapters of the year ranking that it, you know, in a year from now, like this is going to be probably pretty low just relative to the, you know, action ones, but the setup stuff I thought was awesome. Cause, uh, well, for one thing, I mean, we have Bushido's, uh, birthday, you know, happening the same day we get the carrot cover. So that's like automatic points. And then Brooke was in the chapter. So for me personally, automatic points. And he was like doing something because like he's been MIA for most of the arc. So I'm still waiting for him to pull up on Saturn and be like, yo, I saw him in the underworld, you know, a couple years ago or whatever. But, um, but the thing that I really liked is, and I was bringing this up after 1104, is that with the way the Buster call like works, like, there was a lot of fallout from the Buster call that I thought needed addressed. Uh, like, otherwise it just wouldn't make sense. Like, for instance, you know, all of the island just getting broken, like Punk Records, you know, getting 
uh, exploded because that's like Vegapunk's brain, so like it would hurt him theoretically. And it's like there was a lot of fallout from that, and that's immediately what Oda dove into in this chapter. And I love that. Like even the Saturn and Kizaru thing, I even brought that up. Uh, I don't know if it was in the stream or if it was just in my redacted recordings that I never like my reviews that I never actually posted, but I did a stream anyway. But I was bringing up that, like, you know, with the way the Buster Call works, if they're going to blow up the island, like, all the Marines are there. And, like, you know, all, like, they had three goals when they came, which was York, Punk Records, and uh, the Power Source. And it's like, okay, if they're blowing up the island, there's a lot of stuff that needs covered. Like, a lot of important things. Like, are, are they just going to kill all the Marines? Are they going to, are they still going to get those goals? Or, like, how is this going to work, basically? And I, and I thought it was super important that Oda dove into that. So that's part of the first reason why I think it's like the king of setup chapters is that was necessary in my opinion. Like we had to get it. So it's just like, I'm not going to take that many points away beyond it just being set up. Cause I thought it was absolutely necessary to, to hear that. And then the evacuation ship thing I thought was brilliant. Like that's, that's some setup that I thought like, that's like a, like a chain to set up. Like that was set up in 1089 when it was first brought up. Cause we all thought of as a parallel to, uh, to O'Hara and stuff. But then now it's like getting daisy chained into another setup, right? For whoever's arriving. And that's just like, that's part of why Oda's the goat is that kind of connections, you know, like the, like the multiple chapter connections there of like little things that we weren't really thinking about that are like, now they make more sense that they're important, but it's like, um, I don't, it's just like, if we had thought about it more and thought like, oh, well that ship left yesterday and now they're targeting it. Well, where's that ship at? Like they may have already landed somewhere. They might have met somebody. You know what I mean? There's like a lot of stuff there that we could have thought of and didn't. And so Oda piggybacking off what I thought was amazing. Um, and then I thought that the, the setup at the end, like how they were going up the tube and then it got cut. And then now they're like floating above it. Like that, to get that scene you know, Oda had to set up all that stuff, like, to have him go up the tube, otherwise, like, it wouldn't make sense. Like, some way for them to get up above the place. So that's another reason why it's, like, the king of setup chapters for me is, like, Oda did take a lot of time for that, and it, like, wasn't as, not as amazing as a lot of things. But the fact that it led to this amazing shot at the end that we're going to get the climax of in the next chapter, that's, that's awesome. And then the very last thing that, I don't know if you guys talked about this at all while I was gone, but to me, this is a very important thing to think about is this ending part where Vegapunk's like, you know, the pacifist is not going to hesitate to shoot you. Like, they don't know that you're the daughter of their progenitor stuff. Well, remember, we had a little bit of setup talking about the daisy chain setup back with Boa, the S-Snake moment when when she, like, betrayed... Like, she didn't listen to the orders to and she protected Luffy or whatever. Like, she didn't turn him to stone, whatever the situation was. And, and Vegapunk was taking notes. Like, I've never seen this. Whoa, like, she didn't... The lineage factor goes further than I understood. And so I'm I'm wondering if this is going to lead into a moment where the all the Mark Threes decide not to shoot at the last second because they recognize like, oh, that's me kind of and my daughter sort of. You know what I'm saying? Like they they recognize the situation just like the uh, Seraphim did. So and, dope. And, and and then all that stuff is aside from the stuff that we have talked about, which is like who's arriving, right? Which again ties back to that evacuation ship. So it was like necessary setups we had to take time for it but because it led to such awesome things i give them major points for that setup right um and one last thing i don't know if we brought this up at all and i know i didn't put it in my list but what if that person or the or the they that they're talking about who destroyed that marine ship what if it's shanks yeah, that's not, that's not saying that too. yeah like so. because it's on fire that's you know but yeah, do you think that it would be a Shanks headed there to help Luffy or what? I uh, well, Blackbeard's going there and he's following Blackbeard. Oh, okay, that is true. That Ooh, is true. Shanks and Blackbeard. E is evil, true? evil Shanks agenda. No, 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 it's not happening. No, it's not evil Shanks. I agenda. mean, I think it's more so like. Well, uh, nah, he's coming there. Wait, 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 wait. He's coming there to snatch Vegapunk for his for his intel. That that could like he needs someone to read the poneglyphs or something. But yeah, well, I was just, well, wait, I'm just joking, remember though. at the at the at the last lab Vega Punk had Punk uh or uh Punk Hazard, it and they had a two admirals had a giant duel there that ended up changing the landscape. Right? Is there a chance that 
two other people have a giant duel there that changes the landscape like on egghead like the land that egghead was on after it's over like could it could that be where shanks and blackbeard fight or Mm. alternatively could that be where kizaru fights somebody like i don't know who he would be fighting but like because the other two admirals did it on on punk hazard right so and we finally get a light light fruit awakening yep that's what Uh, i'm so, and who would he fight? I mean, well, so do that. Have some time to this fight with Sanji, right? Oh, uh, so 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 you're bringing up um Shanks. Like this is actually, I never thought about <laughs> Shanks too much, but like, it it, it kind of I can kind of see it. Like, if if we're going to Elbeth next, Shanks is hunting down Blackbeard, like you said. Could you imagine like Shanks captures? I don't know uh, who is who's the. Uh, is it going to be like uh, Van Auger? Devon. Who's the? I would say Devon. Oh, Devon, Devon, yeah, yeah. Katerina Devon. Yeah. Uh, the feet, <clears> maybe. <throat> so it's like if Shanks captures two Blackbeard commanders, now it's like Blackbeard has to declare war on Shanks, and now we're going back to Elbath. So like that sets up everything. Where it's like now Blackbeard is going to Elbath. Um, I mean that is. Why would Why would though. Shanks go back to Elbath? Well, Do you I'm, think? Because he already said he was because, leaving. I I. I you, like I guess I can. No, I see what you're saying. Like, it, why would he go back? But I'm just thinking that we need to have Shanks and Elbeth in some form of, Bro, like, some way. I think even if Blackbeard's crewmates got captured, he'd just be like, "Okay, see you later." <laughs> I don't. Well, care. I do think he would take that as an invitation to fight Shanks. I think he wants to fight Shanks. So, yeah, I think it's, I don't think he wants to fight Shanks. He bro, said he did say it. Um, yeah, he said not yet. Right, like not. We're not ready for this. But they say Jesus verses from um. From dragons, people. So I think I he, know. yeah, he cares about his his commanders, right? Like his main captains, but I, uh, it's, it's not the same way as like Luffy does for sure. But it's like he only cares about them because they can help him achieve his goal. I do think that, that Shanks coming would be a, a big explanation. For, I mean, a big chance for us, a lot of exposition about him and his relation. Like, what kind of relationship does he have with Celestials? Then we can get some information from Saturn about um, Garland, probably. Like, here, so, him, them two talking would probably be a big deal. So do you think he already went and handled Bardo? Oh, uh, Bardo, yeah. Bro, come on, bro. That's where, where he, that's where he was going. Characters? Why are we talking about Phil characters, bro? I don't know. I, I I'm just, just saying, that's where Shanks said he was no, going. He was going to find Bardo. So. Where, where is Bardo? <laughs> On that random island, remember? He was Yo. taking over Shanks' flag. Yeah. Okay, I want to do one more thing before we end the stream. But first of all, I knew Atlas was big, but the anime episode, she is huge, bro. Y'all watch the last episode? Huge. I mean, I she is absolutely huge. Like, when Luffy says that she's like bigger massage. than Kaido, it really puts it in perspective. Yeah, she like, is really big. She is. Talking big. about Atlas? Yeah. yeah. But I knew she was big, but she looks huge. I want to do one more thing, then we can probably give it in the stream. Though. Unless y'all think it's, y'all want to go and wrap up? What's up? No, we can wrap up. one more idea, but I, I can't add to it, but I got an idea. Let's hear it first before I say something. Y'all, uh, y'all see monsters? Y'all want to rate it? Uh, I, I didn't watch it. I, I actually haven't seen it, seen it yet. yet. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it yet either. But we can well, I did, but I don't know if you want me to <laughs> give a rating now that it, I mean, I, I've already. Yeah, I'm gonna it, let you, yeah, I'm is let it y'all literally read. one to one to the manga? I haven't read the manga, so I don't. Know. Yeah, I haven't well, okay, it, it is except I, for. Yeah, I can. I, mean, I don't even it. know if we should be. Uh, should we say it? I don't know. Wait, I, don't I don't even know where can we can watch it. Like Netflix. No, just, Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> just watch the first thing. <laughs> there is one <laughs> thing I want to tell right, you. Though. I mean, I like the manga, the short story, but I mean, what was you finna say, preach? Um, do you think Blabbeard will himself will show up in this arc? No, mm, probably not. Mm. Probably I would not say no. He's a and, big coward. He he makes other people do his dirty work for him. Well, he also just had a intense fight. Yeah, yeah. So I, fight, I can't uh, see him. Yeah, yeah. His crew just got through fighting Garp, so it's like, do we need to be pulling up on more Yonko and Abros? He, he's mm-hmm. probably yeah. He's probably going back to Hashinosu. That's where I'm betting he's going, right? <clears throat> yeah. Or where he's already. Well, I want to ask y'all a question. I'm gonna give everybody in here four names. I want y'all to tell me what they're gonna do next chapter. Like, give me a prediction, right? Okay. And then we can wrap it up. Are we going like one by one? I mean, yeah, sure. And, yeah, that's and the do you mean one literally? One, yeah, one name. Do you mean literally in eleven oh six, or just 
within the next two or three chapters. Okay. 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 Um, well, I'll just start with you, Dak. Sanji, Zoro, Dragon, Kizuru. Give me your predictions for those characters. Sanji, Zoro, Dragon, Kizuru? Uh, yeah. All right. Sanji, uh, I mean, what what was he saying? He was going to go get Ve or was it get Vegapunk? Was that what he was saying? I can't remember, right? Yeah. It was Vegapunk yeah. at first before, the, before oh, Kizuru yeah. would the, um, knock okay. them out the air. So, yeah, he's headed okay. towards Bonnie now. Yeah, yep. So he's gonna, uh, you know, have some speed feet or something, you know, saving Vegapunk sometime yeah. soon, guaranteed. Like, snatch him. Maybe, like, even Kizaru will shoot at him, and, and Sanji will be literally light speed. You know what I'm saying? Like, something crazy. Because remember, it might be kind of a connection to, uh, remember, like, in Whole Cake when he dodged the jelly bean from Katakuri? And that's, like, insane because Katakuri can see the future and everything. I'm wondering if we can get a, a, a similar kind of feat here, saving Vegapunk before like a laser hits him or something like that. Uh, and then Zoro, um, he's just gonna probably still be fighting Luchi, or, or you know, or they'll separate and be even. <laughs> you know, I don't think anything crazy is gonna happen with that fight personally. Um, mm. And what was the other? You said Dragon. Dragon. Kizar uh, Kizar yeah. Okay, well, Dragon's pulling up, guaranteed. Even if he's not that guy, I think it's most likely to be him. Because, like, the fire could just be Sabo, right? Like, just mm -hmm. as likely as it being, like, Shanks. So, uh, so I think that is Dragon. So he's going to pull up, and he's probably going to show up at a moment where he, like, saves Bonnie. And that's going to, like, start to repay the massive, massive billions, you know, of debt that Dragon has to Kuma at this point. Um, you know, start helping out somehow. And then Kizaru... Man, probably keep pretending like he's on the government side, <laughs> and <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I hope he flips, but I don't think it'll be in the next couple chapters. If he does, it'll probably be later. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Um, Zane, what's your <laughs> let's go, Zane. All right, so hey, listen, bro, I'm gonna go ahead and group Sanji and Zoro together on this, bro. Mm. And I'm I'm gonna say Good that <laughs> I'm gonna say next chapter or the next couple of chapters, Jim is gonna walk up on Zoro and Luchi's gonna be either knocked out or on his knees. And mm. Jim is gonna tell him the dire situation that the crew's going through. So Zoro's gonna be like, Okay, forget this guy, we'll just run over there. Him and Sanji link up, Luffy wakes up, Luffy starts boxing Saturn. With the robot, most likely. That's my guess. Then I got Sanji and Zoro fighting Kizaru. Mm. And we all know Dragon ain't doing nothing, so we can just skip past him. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to stay at home and just watch his homies get killed. But uh, who was the last one? Kizaru. But oh, you're Kizaru. kind of covered. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I got Kizaru fighting Zoro and Sanji. Okay, so. okay, okay. All right. JJ? I mean, in regards to Kizaru, I think they set it up already. Uh, Sanji get a little bit of play against uh, Kizaru, but y'all keep slacking like Frankie ain't in the same panel, man. Frankie gonna show <laughs> some support. Like I said, what was, I, I called them like the uh, the fodder crew, you know, like Sanji be, you know, going hand to hand with Kizaru. I hope that don't sound weird neither. And then no, um, yeah. Frankie in the background, you know, trying to help out one way or another. I just got to go throw th Frankie in there. So that's what I see in regards to Kizaru and uh, Sanji. Um, I wouldn't even be surprised if uh, Sanji starts interrogating him a little bit more just like... Um, Luffy did because Sanji's been close enough to kind of see like uh Vegapunk kind of chastising Kizaru and you know uh Sanji is pretty emotionally intelligent so he may try to play on that as well um like we said I I, I imagine uh Dragon to be somebody uh to play a big part towards the end of this especially with how this ended I don't really see how we could logically make it make sense for anybody else outside of Dragon and when they was talking about you know Ivankov and Dragon talking about where Kuma whereabouts is, it just makes sense for them to, you know, start putting pieces together. Um, and I, I think Big Big News Morgan got, like, uh, a ways to talk to everybody that matters, like, in the big scheme of things. So I wouldn't be surprised if, um, 
Dragon tried to get some information with Morgan, which makes him make his way over there. So we and Zoro, Zoro. Next time we see Zoro, Lucci's packed up. Y'all gonna stop playing, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, we, we did the thing in Wano. You know, we already had Zoro looking great. Now we not we gotta let these other straw hats get their play too, and I think the further along we get in the story, we gonna see uh, Usopp making a play at the end of AK that shows his relevance too, and um, mm -hmm. we gotta just let everybody else get their shine too. It can't just be the Zoro and Luffy show every time when it comes to battling. Mm -hmm. Should be. Does that count when he fought the Yeti Cooper? Yeah. Or... I mean, it should be. I ain't, I ain't disagreeing with you, preach. It should be. But you know, it's ten of them. We gotta, we gotta let you know Dak and and Prince get their little love too. You know, get the little Brook Sean. Okay, Why you didn't know? include Sanji with that, group? <laughs> with that group though? Why y'all include Sanji with that group? No, nah, I mean, you I want me to include Sanji with the Brook group? I, I was, I was trying to be respectful, but I <laughs> no, put no, no, no. I'm saying when we talking about, <laughs> oh, that's it can't crazy, be Luffy and Zoro. Why, why it can't be Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji? Those are the three fighters. The way so, you flipped like, that is it. funny, bro. <laughs> just curious i mean well to be fair though I mean, sanji does spend a lot of arcs like doing secret stuff behind the scenes to help yeah, instead of fighting the whole time because you know, he's like, yeah. he's like, like hey sure i ain't gotta yeah i'm not a muscle head you know behind I, mean? The scene. I mean that's what happens yeah. when you know when you can when you don't just gotta be on the leash <laughs> luffy's leash 24 7 you know you can actually leash is insane. you know how many times yeah. how many times is Thor zoro threatened to leave the crew a couple Once? a couple did he do it no <laughs> so, hey, it's he like yeah, lost it's dog. because because luffy listened to him because he's a grown he ass man and Luffy listens to him. Wait, one time. <laughs> yeah. That man sat up there and said, yeah. Me or Usopp? And he was crying, me holding back tears the whole time because he wanted Usopp back too. He was just capping. He wanted to make it. Yeah, he was not capping. You know, sometimes like, you just, he just wears some acting, shit online. This guy is acting like a loser and I'm not going to have a loser on my squad. So you can either. So kick I just him said out the same thing. You know what? Yeah, like Sanji didn't say the same thing though. No, he was like, he was like, well, he did. He agreed with Zoro, but he didn't speak up about <laughs> he it. He didn't say. He, yeah, kicked, like... he kicked Luffy and stopped Luffy from telling Usopp to leave the crew before Zoro said anything that day. So, exactly. So he, he was trying to. He was trying to keep Usopp in the crew. He wasn't trying but to I'm say. Y'all, y'all, y'all would say Zoro was the true captain because he, he he kept Luffy in check. But I didn't say he was a true. Captain. I ain't talking about you. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, bro, I just, I just, I gotta see something from Jim Bay, man. That's all I want, bro. No, that nigga, look, he's not surviving. Two more. Bro, arms he max, washed. Okay? He washed. Who's he's who? Done. He washed. Who's who? But who is who? I want to see him who find is somebody who? strong, like somebody really strong. <laughs> who's who is Rob Lucci's equal, bro? And Zoro. Like, bro, it's an admiral, oh. and, and Jim Bay is just frolicking, looking for Zoro, bro. It's like no, I meant equal, but like pre time. <sighs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not now, not now. Um, I don't see who's who in an awakened fruit. That's all I'm saying. He do got it. No, it's he not, not awakened. No, sir. Don't even cap. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing that. Know. That was a bad choice of words on me. We're cutting that out. <laughs> no, sir. That's <laughs> short material. Let's get it. All right. Priest, who you got for the four characters? What you got? What you got? Man. I, I think, yeah, Zoro's, he's he's getting uh, rid of Lucci. It's, it's, I think it'll be next chapter. For Sanji, I'd like to see him fight Kizaru briefly. You know, I, I do like what Zane said though. I, I think it was, I think me and Deck did a predictions before, and I said Zoro and Sanji will fight Kizaru together. Um, I would love to see that, man. So I'll, I'll go with that for Sanji. Oh man, and, and okay, let's if we want to go into that, then he Deck also brought up that Sanji will get a speed feed. I truly think that if Zoro fights Kizaru, he's awakening future sight. Um, but so yeah, I guess that's what I got for those two. For for Dragon, I think Dragon is showing up. Might not be. I don't know if it's gonna be in the next three chapters, to be honest. So probably not anything for Dragon. Uh, we might see him again. We might see him again, like fi figuring out that um that Kuma is at Egghead. So maybe we'll see that from Dragon. But I don't think he'll show up until the very end, if he does. For Kizaru, I mean, like I said, it would be cool to see him fight Zoro and Sanji. But I also just, I love I love the idea with, with um, like I said, uh, Gorosei Saturn and uh, Kizaru, they were like pushing everybody out to do the Buster Call. And the fact that they're staying here, you know, just showing like that's not even anything for them to worry about. I think that's a... Are really going to be a, a good scene in the next chapter because once we start seeing ex more explosions, more you know, more of the Buster Call 
really blowing everything up. And and Kizaru is just completely unfazed by it. I think that's going to be a fun scene. Because um, we know, like, the Logia, you could just, like, regenerate. We could, And he could tell a boy he's so fast. It's not really anything for him to worry about. So, um... Man, I, I I think we might also see Luffy and and Kizaru get a little bit of like a a rematch, not yeah. like a real fight, but I can see it where it's like the moment Luffy comes back, he hits Kizaru with a big punch, um, or maybe Kizaru dodges it. I mean, like that would be cool because you know he got knocked out, so maybe this time he dodges it. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what I got for Kizaru. So. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. Hey, another reason Dragon ain't showing up is because he probably heard that Kainu's uh, right hand man was there. He was like, oh, I'm smoking him either. Oh, He's by the done. way, oh, so one more thing with Kizar. I really do hope he gets the awakening. You know, um, I, I don't he see why not, bro, one. but it's like, come on, bro. Like, we got to see it. Bro, he should be the first one for sure. Yeah. Man. Don't get me wrong. Kuz, what? Kuzan was the first <clears throat> Admiral we met. Though right, uh, yeah, yeah, and then yep, but but the first like actual threat to the crew, like Kuzan was a threat to the crew, but he was like passive, you know. But the first actual like threat to the Straw Hats completely from the Admirals was Kizaru. So that seeing that come full, seeing that come full circle would be pretty cool. Yeah, and he was. Amazed, I mean, this man. is Sabayodi come full circle to be fair. Yeah, that's true. All right, Prince, what you got, man? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with a lot of the takes on, uh, Zoro. I think he's, uh, going to end up beating Luchi and he'll like find his way back with Jinbei, hopefully get back in the scene. And then I'm really hoping for, uh, Sanji to hold off Kizaru for a little bit up until Zoro arrives. And then they both fight Kizaru together. And hopefully it's the first bit of teamwork that they are working on. But I think that they'll end up like either stalemating or losing because they're not great at teamwork and some other situation will happen as far as kizaru goes uh other than the zoro and sanji fight that i think might happen and possible logia awakening i really think that these next two to three chapters uh will be extremely important for kizaru's character more so because the fact that i think that it's like pretty much make it or break it in terms of will he join the straw hats even will he join just like being a good guy will he join like just i know it's crazy it, 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 there's like a huge spectrum of what kizaru could do no i'm just thinking about him being a straw hat <laughs> yeah it's nuts it's nuts but but you saw like, i think i saw that on ohara ohara oh, yes yeah. oh, I yeah. <laughs> bro okay speaking of which just just a quick little rant but ohara and uh, glr's thumbnails love them as youtubers but man they're like their thumbnails are not even just chapter based they're just whatever they think is gonna happen two three <laughs> chapters from that but Either way, uh, yeah. So there's a huge spectrum of things that Kizaru could do, but these two, three chapters will really decide them, whether he's staying as a cog in the machine or whether he's going to break free from said machine and do what he wants to do. Wait. And as far as Dragon goes, uh, it's really 50-50. I mean, uh, it could literally be him doing jack shit and sitting, uh, trying to confirm the facts of what's going on at Egghead. <laughs> Or uh, Sabo is, like, done with his mess of uh, just waiting around. And since they've already declared war, Sabo pushed them and is like, all right, Emu, I've seen Emu. I've seen the king of the world. I, I know what's actually there. And now there's a Gorosei at Egghead. We got to move now. And Dragon's like, all right, makes sense. Is Do you think, yo, it would be crazy, but, like, so we know Morgan's knows what's going on with A-Kid. Can you imagine if if Morgan's makes the call and he links up with Dragon? He's like like telling him all the inside information and that's how we find out like Dragon's showing up at A-Kid. It's like, because if you think about it, Morgan's, we know he has the enemy of CP0 now. Dragon's declaring war. So it's like, maybe it's like a, a good moment for... Um, for dragon and like Sabo was there with VV. Like I feel like that would be a cool moment for Morgan's to somehow get involved here. We know he has uh, some kind of bias for Luffy as well. I mean that would be cool, man. I have one question. How do y'all think, or what do y'all think the Seraphim are gonna do? 
Nothing. If anything. I hope something. Nothing at all. No, uh, no, nah, I, I think they're, I, they're so, gonna be final war opponents when they get older. I think I th- right now it's just what bro, I, I can't is... wait to see teenage versions of them, bro. That's gonna be <laughs> so clean. I can't wait for that. I think we might see the ancient robot fight them. Ooh, oh, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Well, let me get my full prediction. I think he get washed. All right, let, let's hear your predictions, Carl. All right, I think that we're gonna get Zoro and Jinbei two v one against Luchi. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think when Jinbei gets there, he'll see that Zoro is missing an arm. Right? <laughs> and... All right, bro, I'm leaving the stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah have a good night. But listen, but this is how Law comes back into the story because he reattaches Zoro's arm to his body. Right? Oh, he's not, God. he's not done. But yeah, they got a two. People. In all seriousness, Zoro doesn't get lost in moments like this, right? With like big threat levels and and in-game opponents. So I don't think he's lost. He already won. That's why he's lost. Yo, you be said, oh, bro, it'll be I hard. think Zora would have made a beeline no. to the front lines if he had already won. He's, he's still me, bad with directions. Think, like, what if like, what if Zoro is right. fighting the Blackbeard Pirates or whoever is that? You know, what if he's interacting with them already? Ooh, oh, he's, yeah. ooh the That's agenda that he's fighting Blackbeard. That's yes, hard. sir. That's hard. I'm yeah. with it, bro. I think Zoro is gonna wrap up his fight with with, with Lucci next chapter, but <laughs> it's a lot harder than niggas thought it was gonna be. Nah, nah. I'm not saying it's like you finna be no extreme death, like oh, I can't move no more. But when we get to Zoro, we'll like yeah, that was tough. You feel me? Like he's a formidable opponent. Well, you know, yeah, um, for sure. Not beho- so I, I don't know why people don't try to act like Lucci isn't like cold. <laughs> it's like just because of how he got did by Luffy, bro. Like, but but you, know, it's I, you know, you said like Zoro doesn't get lost in these situations, and like I kind of I agree because like we we said if Zoro and Sanji fight against Kizaru or somebody together, I think we saw in Long Ring they they had a lot of complications and chemistry issues and. and I don't think that would happen here. I, I think it's too serious no, of a situation. Yes. Where and, it's like, and look at what happened in Wano. Like, yeah. Yeah. they came, they, bro, yep. they bonded in Wano. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and even, I mean, when we saw them fighting with Queen and, uh, and King, I mean, even that was, like, a good moment for them, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, One I feel like um, him being lost, like, everybody keeps saying he's actually lost. No, he hasn't beaten Lucci yet. He's The fight is going to end, but let's stop acting like we're going to get there. And Zoro just, oh man, I had to go get some to drink, man. I was tired from the. No. If Zoro, after Zoro beats Lucha, his first thing is going to be to go to the front lines and fight against the big guy. So I don't see a scenario where he's just catching his breath or he's lost. That just. Zoro, so I don't Zoro care. Is gonna be, Zoro is going to be sitting on Lucci like Dolph Flamingo was sitting on Smoker with a bottle in his hand. Like I was just waiting on y'all. I couldn't find my so way back. Telling, I had to wait for y'all. Fact, Zoro felt Saturn's presence. So he he knows that the crew is in trouble. So you think that he will beat Lucci and just sit down and chill? I, think I mean, he, if oh, Nami he can still worried, get lost. Zoro be? Nami's not worried. Nami over there chilling. Nami don't look worried in this chapter at all. Okay, well Zoro's a fighter. I feel like You're... she don't look worried because she's taking the control of command center pretty much. Like, Yo, can, can, I, can someone clarify what happened with Robin, bro? Oh, what yeah, what where is time she? Skip? She's, she's right there. annoyed. She's, she's injured, injured right? Like, why is she so down there, bro? Yeah, she's hurt. They just so, what happened to her? And, and on her. Like, I'm, I'm not going to okay. reread, but I'm pretty sure it was with one of the satellites or seraphims. I'm pretty sure. I'm yeah, gar- she I was headed you. to go find York. I think that she made it there and something happened. I don't know, bro. Don't know. Exactly. Exactly. It's, 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 it's Devon, bro. I'm telling you. <sighs> it's Katarina, bro. Not she's Mr. acting hurt, so she doesn't have to do anything. She's acting hurt, so she doesn't have to use her devil fruit. And out or so. Oh, you know, it's crazy. Like, Chopper would be the one to fool easily. But we saw yeah, Rob's Chopper, Chopper, Especially because Chopper and Robin have an extremely close relationship, so he wouldn't think twice about it. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he could fool because I he's just so gullible. <laughs> Bro, he literally thought the fat straw hats were the real straw hats. <laughs> the original straw hats, yeah. I mean, bro, he, he's a reindeer. Like, it's like his mind is a little bit different, bro. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> he no, sees things. I don't, I don't think it's because he's a reindeer. I just think it's because he's extremely I innocent. Think it is. I, I think he just like you know how like this. Like you ever seen when a like an animal like how they see things is like different. I think he's a little mm. stupid, bro. It, no, he's it's, definitely. It's like, you gotta remember he's the, the people that be book smart. 
<laughs> people that be book smart don't got no street smarts and vice mm. versa. Like he's smart when it comes to writing down stuff, but when it comes to just observations of life, like he's he's a simpleton. <laughs> well, I, I just genuinely think that it's because he's a child. That's why. Yeah, Chopper's funny. Yeah, that's, a, that's a big fact. Uh, bro, I don't care what nobody says. Chopper is amazing, bro. Chopper no, is fire. But I, I just wish that like Oda would add that pre time skip fire that he had post time skip because like it, it's kind of like a mutually agreed thing between the entire fan base now that although Chopper was, has had great moments and is doing crazy, he's had his upgrades, pre time skip was just something else, man. I don't know, bro. Yeah, he, he was boxing with Queen. He was. Chopper but... used to have seven transformations. Now he's either a little Pokemon or he's a monster. <laughs> like, there's nothing in between. You know, crazy. Hey, he, he made he made Queen bleed, bro. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him making King bleed. <laughs> he was dodging lasers, he bro. He was going fight. crazy in Wano. Hey, who knows? Maybe if Chopper fight King, you know, he's gonna make King bleed. You never boy, know. Boy, King would turn that boy into a beef into jerky. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Mm-hmm. Interesting. <laughs> you know, reindeer jerky actually exists. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cole wants some of that, bro. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Wait, why is everybody... Okay, I have one question. I'm sorry. This is way off topic. So why is everybody firing up Cole on Twitter, bro? Um, just because he did like a little prediction thing about it's, the next few chapters, and that was mad. Bro, that was know, stupid. No, I, I was, bro, people are bro, crazy. Did y'all, fucking fan bro, did y'all out. see that that degenerate post I sent? Yes, I <laughs> chat this no. morning. <laughs> Listen, bro, I, I just I think Twitter is is like, I got I bro I can't go bro, on it for too long, bro. Yo, bro, bro, yeah, I am so man. glad I know. You know what's bro? I am a much happier person now. That I, I had to delete the app from my phone because. I think it was like three weeks ago when they, you know, when he was posting like the the hashtag, this is an ad or this is like sponsored. It's like, did you see the video or something like that? Like, bro, I saw like 10 yeah, of those that, in a day, bro. And I was like, bro, I, I just, I can't be on this app, bro. I literally mute every single one of those I see because it's just but degeneracy. You can't even, can you still block people on Twitter? Yeah. Because I still see, I still see things even though I blocked them. Oh, nah, I don't see if I'm lucky, you going, but oh man, bro, I, yeah, I, I, I mute a lot of I, mute, I got I got like half of One Piece fan I'm muted on Twitter, so every time like people send something to the group chat, I can't even see it at first. So, but uh, there's I, a certain I, I, like, thing if they ban a certain word with the P, I could tolerate Twitter, bro. With but a P? I, yeah, they gotta ban it. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> the end with a Y, it. nah, <laughs> it ends with an N. Nah. <laughs> oh. Oh God! Yeah, if they could be in there, bro. Exactly like, what you're talking about. I agree. Wait, I don't know which one you're talking about. Every time oh you go no, I, I, I know what he's talking. Every about. time you click on a viral tweet, it's in the responses, bro. Yeah, 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 all those no, OnlyFans yeah. models just going crazy, yeah, bro. It's, it's so annoying. And that's all bro. we gotta say. That's all we gotta say. Yeah, it's so annoying. P N. It ends with an N. Bro, bro come just, on. Bro. We'll, we'll talk about it afterwards, <laughs> brother. Adult filmography. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what, bro. That's that's my like. That's, if they if they you can, can mute that, words, bro. You can mute words. No, you can't mute. But you, bro, you click on any viral tweet. It's just like like if it's something about Drake. Or something, if it's something about Drake, it's like Drake was in my DMs and there'll be a picture of him naked or something. I'm like, bro, really, bro? Like, and I'm not. What's see, up like, with Twitter? It's bro? like I I talked to somebody on Twitter today. I told them like because they were mad about reaction content. It's the same thing, bro. You got to blame the platform for it. They got to get rid of it. You nah, can't blame yeah. people for taking advantage of it. Hey, Derek and chat, I feel like my life is probably better because I've never used Twitter. I can agree with you. Definitely. You don't get to see the Zoro fans. <laughs> you don't get to see One Piece fans in general. Yeah, it's One Piece fans in general. I will say, I don't like how the Zoro niggas was mad at it. Coin KOL and just started talking about him as a person. Bro, they they do. Yeah, we're gonna talk about One Piece. It's, we're gonna talk about One Piece. Talk about One Piece, bro. It's a bunch of fucking losers that scared to show how they look online, like hiding behind these fucking abbeys and like yeah. pictures of Zora and Mihawk. And y'all want to talk about somebody else look like, bro, stop being a loser, my nigga. Hey, bro, it's like, when yeah. I see somebody, you know, when I see a tweet where it's just him uh, just pointing out that he had like a spelling mistake or... or yeah, that's, yeah, that was yeah, like, like, bro, corn, like, you know that corn guy? Yeah, man, yeah, come it was, on, it, I think he's dyslexic too, so it's like... I mean, yeah, really, it's like, bro, he says that all the time when you stream. I, I know you got because I know OPU knows for sure, bro. I spell things wrong every like because I, I just type fast, so I just spell things wrong all the time, bro. It's like oh. it just happens, bro. Like, 
I be driving and shit. No, I gotta stop doing that though. But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do my predictions, predictions real quick. Finish them up since you know y'all don't want to hear the gospel and finna preach. So y'all keep trying to change the topic. But it's all good. Um, Sanji conquers hockey, advanced conquers hockey kick against Kizuru next chapter, and he knocks him out again. Dragon pulls up. I don't know what he's doing when he gets there. Um, who else am I missing? That's everybody, right? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, you already slammed the Zoro, so we passed that. I didn't slam it. Right. See, that's what. See, that's that PR team. That's what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> nah, I'm bullshit. Uh, what's going on in the chat? Anyway, y'all ready to wrap it up? Do be a little toxic. Okay. Is he got? He's a member too. Hmm. Let me look, let me look at this later. Man. Crazy. I will be here for this time. Oh man, that's how you feel, gang. <laughs> Uh, we do not care. I, l- I let it slide for a while because I let people have opinions. Like it's mm-hmm. cool, no, no, but it gets to opinions. a certain point where it's just stupid. Bro, we are the girls say we do not allow opinions. <laughs> we are the girls. <laughs> you, you can't read over. Bro, one one more thing. One more thing on the Twitter thing. Oh God, like, Because <laughs> I just realized, bro. It's like because I saw that that post and Ko is saying like I'm about to head off Twitter for like for the weekend or whatever, whatever he said. Mm-hmm. I just like it. Just it's crazy in my mind. Like he's he posted. And then, like, when he comes back, he's going to see just a bunch of drama, bro. It's so lame, bro. It's like, what the... F- bro, it's like... Oh, man. Like, like, like we talk about One Piece, keep it One Piece. Like, y'all, yeah, y'all so upset about these fictional characters that y'all got to attack people personally. Like, and but you the whole time, <laughs> you got to have you of a fucking cartoon character because you scared because you know that you... Like, come on, man. Let's be serious, bro. That shit lame, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, but fan base would be, it'd be the most... Sensitive fan base on Twitter. The main niggas slandering everybody. But as soon as somebody says something about their favorites, they crying like bitches, bro. Like, come on, man. I'm telling you, it's really simple. It's not that, like, it's not that deep. It's really just a show. And if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. You don't got to go so deep into it to the point where you're threatening others for no damn reason. You don't have to agree with everything straight. somebody says about One Piece. Well, if why does everybody well, want everybody unless, to have a hive mind? Yes, well, unless that's about Sakazuki, stop it. Unless it's Sakazuki, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's the thing that kill you. Like people be so mad because other people have different opinions on one piece, bro. Like, all right, bro, I don't think that Mihawk is stronger than Shanks. Why do why do, why does that bother you so much? You know, like, cope. That's their favorite. Like cope. Keep coping. Like, bro, I don't care, bro. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and wrap it up, though. Um, Dak, you want to, you want to go ahead and um, do your thing? Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay, okay, see. oh, oh, yeah, I sorry, yeah. Like subscribe. <laughs> I had yeah. it loaded. I had it loaded. Yeah, my my B, my B. I muted for like two <laughs> seconds, and then as soon as I mute, I hear Dak, and I'm like, oh my god, hold on. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean. We're just wrapping up, right? I mean, general. Uh, yeah. General. Uh, All right, cool. I didn't know if you need me to plug something specifically, but I just want to say thank you for inviting me on again. You can as plug, always. You can plug. You can plug. Go oh, ahead, I got. Go well, I got stuff to plug. I just, I just didn't know. I didn't know what you were setting me up for. I guess that's what I'm saying. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, it was a great stream as always, guys. I thought this was a really good chapter to discuss, even though it wasn't like the craziest chapter. Like that's kind of the benefit of setup chapters is like by it being a setup, we're like, oh, what's about to happen because of this? We're like you know, delivery chapters were like, we're hyped about it, but you know, like there's a, I mean, there's still stuff to discuss, but it's just like, that's kind of the benefit sometimes to set up whenever there's like a lot of mysteries. So it was a good stream for sure. Always good to hang out with you boys. Um, I know I was here a few weeks ago and I'm sure I'll be back again at some point. And uh, as for plugging stuff, I'll have a video coming on Monday. So yeah, a buggy video. Yes, sir. Hey. Interesting. Dak, Interesting. How, how is our, how is our board looking on the predictions? Uh, I haven't looked, but I haven't looked. Um, I, I can pull it up probably right now. Let me see. I think if we even get one each, it'll be good. But, um, um, oh, I, I do have it. Um, is that the bingo boy y'all did last year? Yeah, yeah, the egghead. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, well, dragon shows up is on there and it, ha- it hasn't happened yet, but it might be. Man, let's see. I think we had some like, uh, yeah. I remember I had, I think I had Bonnie becomes a revolutionary maybe. Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, Elbaf being our next destination was on there, so I guess that was before that chapter, I suppose. So that's cool. So I guess some of them are like end game or like end of the arc. We're gonna find out. Uh, there was also Saturn fruit reveal, which like that, we don't know if it's actually a double fruit, but I feel like it's close enough to still count that one, to be honest. Yeah. Um. We did get one wrong, which was we said Luffy punches Saturn first. It was Kuma. Um, yeah, K- Kuma came out of nowhere with that. Yeah. Ani fruit reveal. So we got we got two of them, and they're in the same row also. So that's cool. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got to do a 2024 one. Dude, it's still kind of sad that that punch from Kuma didn't leave any lasting. Unfortunately. Yeah, I remember me and Dex said that. I'm yeah, just happy yeah. it landed. I mean, I knew it. I knew it would. No, 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 no. I, 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 was, I was okay. Thank you for bringing that up because Crow was saying in the first place that wasn't even gonna land. No, no, I said. Go back to the stream. We said either A, it won't land, or B, it'll land, but it won't do anything important. Yeah, it'll that is be exactly what we said. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't like, try it, to it rewrite cool. history. Nah, 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 nah. You said it was you, land. No, I mean, you said wow. specifically. I feel like it's in the middle. Go back to the stream. Nah, the stream. but because the, the, the whole there. argument was like, I, I said, because I, I was yeah. standing, like, I was like, bro, it's landing no matter what. Yeah, I remember I was adamant that it was going to land. It's like, going to yeah. land. It, it, there was just too much built up for that not to land. Go back to the stream. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like. I mean, I thought back then. I felt like back then we was more thinking like Kuma was going to end up blowing up the island. So I don't even think it, the people that was thinking that the punch was going to land was expecting it to be like something that was going to like supremely affect Saturn. No, I, I, yeah, I, it's I, in the it, flying, which is something I didn't expect, but he did just peel from it immediately. So I was like, it's not going to be the. No, I, I, thought, I thought Kuma hey, was going to land the punch and then Saturn would take it and have some damage to him, not go flying. In fact, Heck, I'm not... I what yeah, happened in the manga was more than what I thought would actually happen. Dak, I'm not sure if we if you were on stream when we were talking about this, but how was it was it you on stream? Uh, how do you think the workaround is for Saturn's region? Like, what do you think needs to be done t- to counter it? Uh, yeah, I talked about this on Monday in my discussion stream. Actually, uh, I, I'm thinking like whenever Saturn got punched. You know how the uh, like the gravity thing, like whatever that power is, wore off that was holding Sanji and, and Vegapunk and Frankie in place. Uh huh. Well, maybe there's a connection there, kind of like how like Lunarians, like whenever their flames on, they're oh, tougher, yeah. and whenever it's off, they're faster, like that kind of thing. Maybe Saturn like can't have his other abilities running while he's regenerating. So like the like somehow that you know. So if you want to beat him permanently maybe you have to like fully destroy him 100 percent before he activates it or i don't i, I you know something like that i don't know but I, I think there's definitely like he can only run so many things at once because i think that's just that's part of why he flew away i think so it's, it's got to be a one shot essentially so that's he's like I'm maharaga thinking. he's maharaga pretty much yep yeah, i mean yeah i mean sort well sort of because like that's yeah, minus the adaptation, like obviously. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he didn't need him to be. Uh, you know what? Anyway, let's oh go. Oh my uh, god! Let's Don't continue. Start. Let's continue. <laughs> uh, you done? <laughs> I mean, right. You want to get to that? Are you done? Doc? My bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what y'all talking about now because yeah. I just finished yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. game. Oh, oh, I know exactly. No, no, what you guys are not saying names. About. Not saying names. Like, I know exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Some agenda bad oh. right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I forgot something. We never did. We talk about the All Star starters. Oh, oh no. we did. I said a lot of crying. <laughs> Niggas I, I, I looked at him. I just looked <laughs> at him. <laughs> so um, what's the most? Brun, what's the most shocking one? Is the, apparently everybody mad because Dame got over Brunson, which is I guess mm-hmm. what's wrong. And, and and Spider, which like I probably would have picked Brunson, but I feel like both were yeah. possible because like Dame is not doing Brunson that great this year. He had a no, slow start, yeah, yeah, but I think because he had a crazy shot the other night I saw. To my Brunson? Nah. Dang. The game had like a, uh, yeah, the I game think winner. that it's not egregious. I I think that Brunson deserves the spot, but but everybody acting like it's just egregious that Dane. The only I reason Dane got that. it over him is because of popularity. That's literally. Exactly. Yeah, it's a yeah. fan. I mean, that's yeah. really that, that, is, that is what All Star is. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. That's literally the only reason, though. It's that not like a, anything to feel. Like, it's just like, no, he shouldn't even be. No, I'm like, relax. I mean, Y'all blow this. It's, it's, it's not MVP. It's, 
Like he won't even but be how much? Okay, starter, so but. do you think you do you actually think uh, Brunson is better? Do I think Brunson is a better player than Dame right now? Yes. Oh, I don't know about As that. Right now, not all See, time. Right, no. right now, he is, but at the same time, I feel like Dame is just cruising right now and just letting Giannis steamroll teams. And once the playoffs start, then he really kicks it. I mm. think that Dame, the idea of Dame and the reality of Dame are two very different things. But you know, that's a conversation that we can get into some other time. So, what's the other? Uh, what's the other picks? Uh, people's mad at Bron over Kawhi. I don't see why is LeBron James. What the fuck did you expect? Even though yeah. if somebody yeah, got of robbed, of course the NBA history. would like after he broke Kareem's <laughs> all, all, like, Wait, scoring who record. Is, who is mad and he about breaks that? his All Star record? I mean, of the five Clipper fans funny. from what I see. <laughs> I mean, if anybody deserves, yeah, I don't know player. one Clipper fan in real life. For real, if anyone no, deserved over LeBron, it was his teammate. But who in the world is a Clippers fan? <laughs> <laughs> I've met one Clippers fan. He was die hard. He was there before they even got Kawhi and PGO. So I, I respect like him. Lob I City know. days. Um, post Lob. Well, I met him after Lob City, but before the. It was like when they had Shea Steel and Pat. Oh, Bell okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Ew. Before the trade yeah. that killed their organization. <laughs> nah, they 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 they, they, they tough this year. AD should have been an All Star. They were supposed to win the tip in twenty twenty. And then they said they'd run it back once they're healthy in 2021. And then I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. All I know is my boy better. I don't like how they behave as if they. Is Luca Luca better be on there? Is he starting? No, he's not. Yeah, Luca's definitely a starter. Yeah, yeah, he's on. He's not starting. No, no, he is. No, it's Shea and Luca. I mean, yeah, it is. I was gonna yeah. say, bro. No, one of the, one the, first of the time controversial Steph things was that start? Steph, yeah. yeah, he's not in the story. No, I don't think he deserved it over those guys. Oh, he oh, didn't he, deserve he, it. Mm-hmm. Luca, Luca, and uh, what you call it? SGA. SGA, SGA yeah, yeah, they deserved oh. it much more. Well, he, here's the biggest problem with all the the All Star stuff is that John ja Morant got an All Star choice. Oh, wow, bro. Because because he played like, you know, like what, oh, like oh. ten, like eight games, what ten yeah. games, whatever it was. He got all star. Are you saying he's like? I mean, he's on he the ranking. He's, he's, he's on the voting. He's on on the top of the voting result. Like he's above Jamal Murray. But, but I mean, they've already selected the starters, so now everything else is going through the coaches, and the coaches yeah. ain't putting Moran in. Yeah, like and whatever so, that so is. He but he's on. He's it? on the top list. He's above Jamal Murray. He and, made the the vote yeah. a fan vote as far like he if yeah. he was playing he, he would be. be. Yeah, he oh, okay, be okay. yeah. He he's fifteen in player rank, but six in media rank. Which yeah. like he shouldn't? Just, I don't think he shouldn't be in it. Like bro, no he sense. barely played. Bro, yeah, not even. No he's done for the season. Like, what well, are you well yeah, you that do? too. But just the fact that he, he just didn't play. Yeah, he didn't school. really play. Like, I mean, it's about five years old in this school. Yeah, I mean that's just that's ridiculous. <laughs> Why is AD not starting, bro? Over who? Who cares? Yeah, over over who? Kevin Durant. <laughs> because KD Kevin is Durant, better. Bro. Yeah, I, I'm the biggest KD no. hater on the planet, and that's no. really KD is he's definitely not. Nah, KD is definitely better than AD. Why ain't start over LeBron? Realistically, he should be start over. Bro. He got better stats than LeBron. But, but nobody's to gonna LeBron ever. Game. LeBron is always gonna <laughs> have know. the most votes, bro. Know, it's like, hey, you know, I'm listen, I, hey, I'm with you, bro. AD's been you better for the last two years. But no, I don't, he no, he hasn't. I, I just, I think this is the first year where AD is like clear cut better than LeBron so far. I think last right. year. I have a question. Do you think AD is better than KD? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Right now, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, bro. Right now, oh, yeah, man. Nah, bro. This is Definitely not. Oh, man. AD is, AD is, AD is top 10 offensively and top 3 defensively. Like, what y'all talking about? Bro, why is this KD so is top 3 offense. Mm, is he? And then, like, Hold top is 50 yeah. defense. Like. Embiid, Jokic. Um, He's better than Embiid. Giannis in offense. What? Yeah. It, Stop. Bro. I'm saying like he's better. I, Stop, I'm I'm giving it to him, bro. Stop. It. Yeah. In the I'm year kidding. of 2024, yep. Kevin Durant is not a better offensive player than Embiid. Why not? He's a better offensive player than Jokic. Embiid's no, he's not. Nobody's yes, he a better yeah, offensive player than Embiid. Right no, now. he's not. He's a better offensive player than Jokic, though. No, he's sure. not. Yeah, he is, bro. Nobody's better than Embiid right now. Bro, I think it's like an objective opinion Listen, that I am Jokic the biggest, is the best offensive player in the league right now. I'm the biggest Jokic, I mean, not Jokic, MB hater in the world. I cannot deny what he's doing right now is special. Bro, he yeah, dropped 70 nasty. the other day. How he's not better. Eddie is, is not better than MB for sure, but he's Co- definitely Co- better. Do you still, do you, let me, hey, let me ask you, do you still think 
Jokic is a better scorer. Than Embiid? Yeah. No. Hell no. Mm, it's close, man. It's I not, bro. It's, it's, uh, it's like... It's like not. I, I was not Honestly, yeah, I was after, after that 70 not, it, it, drop, no, he's not. Like, Jokic is never dropping 70, bro. I know it's but a rookie. Better, I know it's a, a, better it's a, a horrible team, player, but it's yes. like... I'm just saying, purely scoring-wise, I think Jokic is the better player. But I'm saying, like, purely, purely scoring. I'm just saying it's close. It's not just like... I, I what just, makes it not close, bro? I just didn't like it's he, tough he, because Jokic. if Jokic if Jokic had the goal of scoring like every possession or he was asked to, could he score okay. seventy? Like, I, 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 probably. <laughs> Honestly, I just do, could like, could Jokic score thirty five points per game? No doubt about it. In my eyes, he can. Do yeah, that. if he wanted to. Yeah, like, he just, like, that's if that was like what the team needed. Just like yeah, he's better. The team's better if he doesn't do that. So it's like hard for me to say because like he has probably never even tried. Where, like, Embiid has definitely tried to, like, score yeah. a shit ton, just, you know? Exactly. Not even so that, good. but I think Jokic doesn't even want to try. I think, like, his yeah. whole point is that he he doesn't want the points. He do, he couldn't care less, but he <laughs> worries about the team's victory more so. And if he needs to put up points to secure the, his team's victory, then he'll do it. I, just think, I, think, I, think, I think teams guard him different, bro. It's like, when you can pass that well, it's just like, now you're worried about a whole second factor that... I mean, he might be the best passer in the NBA. He probably is. Wait, we're not going to discount Luka right now. Respect Luka. Luka. No, I think best passer is easily easily Tyrese, bro. Because of his assist to turnover ratio. Holy shit. First of all, it's still LeBron and then it's Jokic. Bro, LeBron? Um, Oh, my God. LeBron's not good. Nah, I think Jokic got it, man. I think it's Tyrese, bro. Jokic probably last year, but this year Tyrese is going nuts. I think that this Jokic is a great passer, too. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point. You can't pass the ball to, to Jared Vanderbilt in the corner and expect him to average nine assists. <laughs> but, <laughs> I think that, uh, why, why are we sleeping on Luca right now? Luca, listen, Luca is definitely a great playmaker. Luca is averaging what thirty three right now. He averaging 30. how many rebounds? Like it's almost dude, nine rebounds. You act like nine, I said Luka's nine trash. assists. Nine assists. Nah, Luca is real, bro. bro. I picked Luca for MVP for the third year in a row, even though he's disappointed me for the two years before that. Yeah. I still had faith in him. I still like yeah. I, I still think that this is the most talent we've seen these last two or three years in the NBA in a long time, man. Well, look at the eighty soft shit, man. He's nasty. This, this nasty. is the era. This is the post Braun era. Like this post Braun. Like, Braun, what you talking about? Braun, I mean, twenty five, seven and seven. No, post bro. Hey, this it, is it, not it, his era. Clock's anymore. ticking, he's not, man. He's not top one in the league. Anymore. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's fair. I think I want to say it's 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 incredible to see what LeBron could do every single bro at his age and and just the amount of games he's played. It, it still amazes me every single well, game, man. Actually, let me you know, take it back, the bro. It's, that, a, it's the post Warriors post, bro. The fact that right. we're even saying that LeBron's not top one anymore when he's 38 it's, years old is nuts. But I will say though, people like to is, you know they like to. To use this against Jordan, but I feel like if Jordan stayed in the NBA, didn't retire those times, like I feel like he could still be averaging like 24, 25 points a game. I mean, yeah. If, oh, if he has, if he has the same this uh, pace of the game as LeBron does, then yeah. Michael you put Jordan, Jordan in this area. You, you put Jordan in this area, he's averaging four. I'm just saying he's an alcoholic. He wasn't going to be that good when he got older. He'd be for real. LeBron's an alcoholic. He drinks wine every day. Get that man out of here. No, but wine LeBron doesn't have hard John liquor. Here. LeBron doesn't have Jordan. Bro. Jordan was drinking hard liquor and smoking cigars all day. Yeah, yeah, he was still he averaging was thirty over thirty a game. I'm just saying, he, yeah, Michael that Jordan's he eyes that. are as yellow as fucking Sanji's <laughs> hair. Like it is that yellow, bro. Yeah, it is bad. Okay, this didn't. Come on, Jordan. What side you on? This isn't a Jordan roast session. Let's get out of here. Jordan, who side you on? Is he is he better than KD or what, man? Come on. now. What's what's the question? Is uh Embiid, is Embiid, right? Embiid or Kevin Durant? Embiid is definitely better than KD. Embiid is the baddest man on the planet right now. Like only person that only person that you could compare Embiid to is Kevin Durant. Embiid is the baddest man on the planet right now. Like only person that only person that you could compare Embiid to is Jokic. Like them two boys is at a whole nother level than anybody else. Are we just talking about offensive scoring? Oh, like Luka, about, hold on, hold on. Why Luka. Are we forgetting about Giannis in that conversation and Luca. You know, like, why are y'all not God. Luka? No, Giannis is not. Yeah, Tate, he's bro, not. I, I, I don't think he's on the same tier as Jokic, man. Bro, Luca is averaging thirty three right now. Nigga, my bad. Not not that word, guys. <laughs> Giannis is God. I just listen, bro. I, I just feel hey. like when it hey, comes guys, to real the... quick. I, all right, hey, it's eleven thirty. 
and I, I got to go. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I know we were no, so close to wrapping it up, and I brought up the NBA talks. I brought it up <laughs> on yeah. us. I do need Honestly, to go. Honestly, I have to dip too. Right. I, I feel like this is a good place to end it. And <laughs> for the 45 of you watching in stream right now, thank you for listening to our NBA tangent. We really do appreciate it. It's the best part of the stream. The, uh, the best part. <laughs> Back to the old days. OP NBA U, man. Let's get it. <laughs> Uh, do y'all need to do the outros? Or do y'all always end the stream? Uh, I, think, I don't need an outro. Honestly. I think we can all just Listen, like combinely bro, say. I'll uh, say you got. You can find everybody in the description. Yeah, and appreciate there you guys you coming out and, and supporting us and everything. And yeah, join the Discord. We'll see you guys again next week. Join the Discord. Subscribe.